Hey, everybody. Have you heard about the Drunken Peasants Patreon? It helps support the show while getting you some cool perks. Check it out. For $1 per month, you get to use our exclusive fan chat that appears at the bottom of the screen on every episode. For $5 per month, you get two new private shows, including Actual Mania, as well as our back catalog of private shows, plus all lower tier perks. For $10 per month, you get all of our monthly video content. This includes multiple post shows, our monthly reviews, our back catalog of all that content, plus all lower tier perks. For $15 per month, your name will appear in the ending credits of each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For $25 per month, you get to take part in our monthly booking committee hangout to help us book our Patreon content for that month, plus all lower tier perks. For $33 per month, you get an exclusive piece of DP merch each month, plus all lower tier perks. For $50 per month, you appear in the opening credits for each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For $100 per month, you get to join us as a guest on an episode of the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Plus, you guessed it, all lower tier perks. Visit patreon.com slash dp now to become a patron of the Drunken Peasants Podcast. In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get a witness. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Oh! Miss my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective, here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Hello everybody, welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, this is episode 1326, back again on another amazing Monday, a new week, a new goal. And once again, we got our boy King Beard X back again. How's it going, buddy? It's going to the left. It's going to the left? Yeah, maybe the right. I don't know. Maybe the right, or maybe forward, maybe backwards. Uh, it's, uh, well, some people say I'm going backwards, but I think I'm staying in the same position. You know, uh, you remember the last time you were on, uh, I showed you a bunch of stuff from that guy Sturgis? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, someone, th- there's a whole bunch of people, like Sturgis is a is a new emerging lol cow, and he's, he's gaining yeah. more and more popularity as a lol cow, and there were a bunch of people that were sharing clips of that episode, and there was someone that was like, what, why is King Beard involved in this? <laughs> yeah yeah because they didn't know of our previous association so some random person was like king beards involved in this so yeah i thought that was kind of weird i was just because i got tagged in it i didn't like uh i didn't interact with it at all but i did notice that uh you know it, people people were laughing about it because we were we were laughing at sturges so uh, I see people in the chat already being like, not Sturges again. It's like, first of all, I don't have any Sturges planned for tonight. But by the way, if I stop doing everything people in the chat told me to stop doing, we wouldn't be doing anything. I would, I would have to stop everything because it's like, oh, don't do the news. Oh, don't do King Cobra again. Don't do like literally no matter what I do, there's going to be at least one person being like, don't do that anymore. So I can't. I can't listen to that because we'd literally just be sitting here doing nothing. So uh, speaking of doing nothing, speaking of doing nothing, I'm bringing back the post show tonight. So when this stream is over, when it ends, I'm going over to Patreon, patreon.com slash DP. I'll remind you later. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do the post show. I've got some stuff I'm going to watch for all the patrons, $10 and above. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that after this episode's over. So just going to remind you guys later, but I'm bringing back the post show. I'm going to try to do at least one post show a week going forward. So that's what we've got. Um, yeah. So please like the stream. We're going to we're gonna talk about Cobra in a moment here because... He, this is the second apartment he's been evicted from in the last, uh, 10 years, like uh, five years. Cause he was evicted five years ago. So yeah. Um, 
Trolls have been trying to get him evicted for years, but all it took was a crazy woman. Pimp monk. A wad bop a loo bop a lot. And they shouldn't be trying to get him evicted. Y'all mess with boys. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So, like, trolls have, you know, called the cops on him, which which is terrible and they should never do. Trolls have sent all kinds of DoorDash orders. They've sent grinder dates over to his place. They've done all kinds of stuff, called his landlord, called the cops, everything. They couldn't get him kicked out, but bring in a woman and have her scream all night? That was it. What do you think yes, about that? That woman was weird, man. She is. She's gone now. That's she a, went back home. Weird... Oh, did she go back home? She did go back home. She was only allowed to stay for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I I'm gonna check that just to see if like because sometimes the streamlabs get filtered. So I'm going to check that out. But while I'm checking that, we're going to play the intro, the newly updated King Cobra segment intro. Here it is. Somewhere in the world today, men have got to stand. She's all running around everywhere. She is like, she's a tweaker, I think. It's amazing. Stand up. Um, uh, there was a message that got filtered. It was from Thoughts. It said, they were quoting, I believe, JF. Uh, when JF debated Destiny back in 2018. Destiny, you don't like the fact that I tried to kidnap and impregnate a woman by se- with a severely low IQ? Get fucked, moral. And then the word that got it hidden was the uh, the the British word for a cigarette. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like... Sounds good. Yeah, I mean, like, sometimes it's a funny word. word. Sometimes it's a funny word, but I got to block words like that from being in donos. But I always try to check and see what happened. So, <laughs> all right, we are uh, we're going to check this out. This is uh, King Cobra getting a, a, a spreading the, the word that he's been uh, given a certain amount of time to vacate the premises. I, from what I hear, his apartment is already listed online. <laughs> So, yeah. I love Trumpeter Bob's conspiracy theories. The one about Wild Bill being in a gay relationship gave me life. Yeah. Also, that new Cobra intro is God. Also, sorry for the F word in the no, last it's message. Fine. No, I mean, I, I, you can send it, it just won't play out loud, and then I'll have to read it and kind of censor it. But I'd rather get the dono than not get the dono, so don't apologize. Uh, yeah. Cobra's live. Ooh. Better not go live, boy. One of my fans sent me. So she was there for like a week, and he didn't go live the whole time because the last time she was there, she like was playing with his dick. And people reported it, and it got his channel a strike, and he couldn't do anything for over a week. So this time, he didn't go live the uh, whole time she was there. A pretty sweet tiki cobra glass to my P.O. box, and I appreciate it. People have been sending me alcohol like crazy lately, and I appreciate it. Yeah, I, people, so there's a group of, because there are cobra viewers that think he's funny and kind of endearing. There are cobra viewers that, like, they're grossed out by him, but they don't hate him. They actually kind of like him for the entertainment. And then there's the people who, like, want nothing but the worst to happen to him. Like, like literally so. But those people started to feel sorry for him because this woman was kind of psychologically abusing him. 
while she was there. And she live streams. She's like addicted to live streaming. So she was streaming the whole time she was there. So there's all this video Ooh. evidence of her being insane, completely insane. Like yesterday, I got a knock at my door and someone handed me like a reusable re re shopping Walmart bag full of shit. I was like, okay, cool. And then today, someone door dashed me some uh, more booze. So I've got plenty of booze. <laughs> I'm going to be working on that over the... So they just keep door dashing him booze, which booze wasn't the thing that got him kicked out. If he had just stayed home with some booze and not invited <laughs> this... Yeah, I mean, I'm just glad he didn't knock her up. Yeah, kept the booze, got rid of the booze. Yeah. Next month or so, very slowly... Still got a, like half a thing left of my habanero peach mango mead, which turned out delicious. Do I miss that, Jessica? It didn't. He makes he tries to make like prison hooch almost, and it's really yes. gross. Yeah, it looks so gross. He doesn't even know how to do that. Um, it's it looks really bad, and he let her taste some of it. And she she was like, oh, it's too spicy. But she you could tell by the look on her face. It was gross. And she didn't want to drink more of it. Agree. Yeah, that's when she's not, you know. You do not have to donate to Cash App or PayPal or Super Chat or join memberships. But if you do, it is greatly appreciated. And I could definitely use the money in these next couple of months. I'm also on Cameo. So someone in the fan chat said it's too early to know whether or not. He, I mean, technically, but uh, according to what they were saying, she had a period while she was there, like towards the end of the trip. So it's very unlikely. And they said this time they were using birth control, which they didn't do the first time. So the first time was the real danger of her getting pregnant. No. <laughs> yeah, we that's... Don't yes. Say what you want to say, though, but Jessica is a good woman. I mean, she has her moments like I do. People are telling me... No, no. She made you look good. She made... She took some of the heat off of you. Like, the people who really hate you felt sorry for you. Uh, yeah, she's, she's not as bad as you. <laughs> All this crap about Jessica, and I'm like, well, here's how I look at it. Dude, when you get threatened by an $8 machete, you have to take a step back. Yeah, she was like, I'll go buy an $8 machete right now. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, that's crazy. She's crazy, man. Yeah. Come on, have murdering people and yeah. having and then the shadow sex on the wall of there. Oh, my God, yes, the shadow sex. That was craziness my moments too and she freaking cares about me so what do you do uh i think she just likes the fact that she can because live streaming is what she does more than anything and i think she likes that now she can go live and get like 500 to a thousand live viewers yeah, he brings her attention and he yes. likes that yeah and he's pulling huge views these days so you know like me and Jessica are very similar in a lot of ways. In some ways, we're not. That can be said about anybody. You could say, "Oh, I'm similar to this person in a lot of ways," and then a lot of ways we're not. That's so. That's such a neutral statement. <laughs> I mean, check out that tactical soap coupon code King Cobra. Like you should get a tactical soap affiliate link. <laughs> Why not? You know, get a little cut of that tactical soap. I've never soap. used soap. I've never used it. You gotta, you, there's, there's many different types of tactical soap. King Cobra likes yeah. the Bond, like the James Bond style tactical soap. One of the reasons is because it's goth. It's a black bar of soap. Oh. Um, yeah. Is it like charcoal soap? 
Uh, I'm not. Well, it has like pheromones in it. It's supposed to like turn the ladies on. And when he met this woman and and started getting laid for the first time in six years, he was like, "Here it is. It's proof. Tactical soap works." But it's like she she met him online and was already like agreed to do stuff that's with him. Power, that's some powerful shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rockstar. <laughs> I appreciate y'all tuning in and watching me go live. My birthday was kind of crappy to be shitty, to be honest. It was beyond shitty. My birthday fucking sucked. She was there during his birthday. <laughs> yeah, normally on his birthday, he does a big birthday stream and gets a ton of donations. But this time yeah. he wouldn't he didn't want to do it because she was there. So all that happened was she like freaked out and screamed at him all night. I think it's because he was jerking off to Chatterbait. I think that's what happened. Well, it is kind of insulting. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I don't want to get into it right now. I've only, I've only let a couple people know the situation, and I don't want to get into it. But just because my birthday was shit doesn't mean the rest of the year has to blow, you know? So it's going to get better. Just... I mean, I I don't think that, like, I don't know where Josh is going to move. He's His dad is going to have to co-sign for him because he doesn't have, like, a normal job or anything. Uh, yeah. And, I mean, he's already been kicked out of two places, so that doesn't look good on an application. So, I mean... He, there might be another dry spell incoming if he can't find his own place and has to move back in with his dad or move into like a group home or something like that. There's not going to be there's not going to be any streams, let alone, you know, women wanting to come and stay at his place. Keep it, keep it on keeping. That wasn't entirely her either. It wasn't entirely her it wasn't entirely her he's gonna blame the trolls it's like no the trolls have been trying forever it was her yeah it was also my youtube trolls for that matter but let's not get into that but again you don't have to donate to super chat or paypal or cash app but if you do it is greatly appreciated Jessica just needs people to love her in her life. That's all. It's very apparent. Yes. Yes, Rat Lord. Uh, it, it's kind of like when your job forces you to resign, so technically you didn't get fired. They're like, hey, you got to move out, uh, but it's not going to go on your record uh, as an eviction as long as you move out. That's yeah. yeah, they do that kind of stuff. It's kind of like where you he was asked you, to leave. Basically. Right, right. It's like when you quit a job, but the only alternative is getting fired and having getting fired on your record. You know, it's it's the same thing. Parents that she suffered yeah. some psychological abuse issues over the years. I'm not sure to what degree, but it's none of my business. You deserve someone who isn't verbally abusive and hits her. So yeah, she was doing this like, I'm going to beat myself up and then say you did it. Was kind of what she was doing. Right? Yeah. She isn't mentally stable. You shouldn't put up with that. Yeah, Cobra needs someone more stable than him, not less. Well, Lil You sniffing mm -hmm. some vapor rub? Mm -hmm. Honest question. Yes, Do you guys think it's going to get to the point where Cobra gets banned from the town of Casper altogether? No. Like doesn't know who Cobra is already? I, I, you can't get banned from a town, you know, like, uh, unless, I mean, like, maybe if someone living there had a restraining order against you or something, I don't know. But, no, I don't think he's going to get banned they from the town. that back in the day, back in the like old days. Yeah, the they old west. Them, but they don't... It's hard to do that now. <laughs> I mean, he was he grew up there and his family lives there. They can't just ban him. He might have to like move into some kind of special housing if no one wants to rent to him. He is uh he's he's trespassed from like his local grocery store and shit like that too. Uh so Cliff, that's your opinion. Thank you for your They were filming this documentary with him and they went to uh the grocery store to pick up some stuff. 
and the people there called the cops and the cops were like waiting for them in the parking lot they're like you're trespassed from here for five dollars all will be revealed when the time is more appropriate Oh, no, that was not cool, Jessica, to say that, but she apologized and she made what she said was wrong. And I apologize for what I did. What'd you do? Know, you jerked off to chatter, but was mustard squirrel, but shout out to mustard squirrel, I guess. Thank you for your mustard squirrel. Mustard squirrel. Mustard yeah, I'm not even sure what that's all about. Eh, not necessarily about because I don't know. because of her. Because of my YouTube trolls are assholes. But it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm not gonna he says that all the time. Him and Jared both say that a lot. I fully get into it. It's going to leave you in the dark on it for a hot minute because I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it. The whole thing just makes me want to fucking. Pull my hair out. Now, what's left of it? And I'm not trying to be a dick. You know, he gets drunk all the time. He, uh, yeah. He, he seems to have a clever sense of humor, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, it's weird if you watch videos of him from like seven years ago, he's like a different person. He was a lot more sharp and he, uh, yeah. In some cases, he almost spoke too quickly. Like, he was kind of a motor mouth back in the day. I don't know. Yeah, you can, because every now and again, you'll say something like, it seems like it's a little humorous or clever. And, like, you know, if he wasn't drunk all the time, he could probably be, you know, be clever and humorous. Well, he's done other stuff, like, he's huffed air duster and stuff that makes it seem uh, like it's yeah. slowed his brain down. Fucked his brain down. Yeah. Yeah. This shit will do it too. Nope. I knew a dude who was smart as hell. He was an intelligent man. But he got on that shit and and and, and just made himself dumb. You can you can do drugs and, and stuff like that make it dumb. Yeah, some some quicker than others. Yeah, like like huffing yeah. is really bad for you. Oh yeah. Jessica has been in a lot of relationships that were super abusive and unhealthy, so that's all she knows. Who's the hillbilly? I can't understand him. Oh, that hurts. I usually, hurts, man. I usually ignore that chat for the most part just because people can say whatever they want for free, and then I usually focus on the people who pay to have their opinion heard. But, I mean, obviously, you have the right. You have the right to react if you choose to do so. You know, that hurts me, man. It's I'm okay. Hey, you know what? I know for a fact you're not a hillbilly. You're just a redneck. I'm a, I am a product of ancestral relationship. Like, when I think of hillbilly, I think of Tennessee and West Virginia. I think of Appalachia. I don't think of Mississippi, like the Gulf. That's more redneck to me. And then, like, and then like where I grew up, like the farmers and shit, those are hicks. There's a difference. See, where I'm from, though, see, but people, so, so, you hear Mississippi and people think shit like that. Well, I'm so close to Memphis. They're gonna say, I'm from Blues Country, right? We're not, I mean, I'm from the Blues area of Mississippi. Well, we, we're all about blues music and partying. So it's a little different. And I grew up in hip hop, all that shit. And I'm, I'm just me. He's actually black. I am a vanilla covered brother gonna be to she's not used to having a guy who cares about her that kind of thing what the fuck is a pre-soak thank you for your two dollars i don't want to marry jessica until i'm in a much 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 bigger place like i don't want to marry anyone until i've built my clock tower dream house thank you so never yeah he has this thing where like when I win the lottery, I'm going to build a clock tower dream house and then I'm going to do all these things like get married and have kids and all that. But it's like he doesn't actually play the lottery. So like the, the odds of winning the lottery are low anyway, but they're zero if you don't play. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like so it's it's such a weird long term plan. Yeah, it is weird. 
But like I said, I'm not going to get into it. We all have sat around and we, you know, thought about oh, if I won the lottery, you know, stuff like that. I had that, you know, if I won the lottery, I'd do this, this, and that. But you actually got to play this shit if you don't really have yeah. a chance. Or say when I got to be out or any of that. That's just. Or if I found a place or anything like that, you know, that's just none of your damn business. You've been, if your troll donation is, doesn't get shouted out, you just, you just, you just gonna... better look for a homeless shelter boy. I, I I hope it doesn't come to that. I, obviously, he has family that are they're still in his life, place. so they're not going to let him sleep outside. They get blocked. Pretty sure he'll get a place. I mean, his his you know these days a lot of places they want to see like your bank accounts, like like your last like five six months of bank accounts and stuff like that his accounts always in the negative all the time I, I i just he was lucky to find this place after the last place when he got his last place he had a job and was like a lot better put together at that time and he had like steady work and that kind of stuff and since then it's it's gone it there's been a, a decline so hopefully though uh hopefully he he lands on his feet i'm not gonna be fucking homeless dude trust and believe that it'll be fine okay i don't want to get into like the details of how crappy my birthday is we know it was live streamed we know how crappy your birthday was we know how crappy your whole last week was we know <laughs> and we like you're like oh i'm not gonna get into it but we know why you're getting kicked out <coughs> It was the fact that she was screaming at you at the top of her lungs all night and all morning. Yeah. Uh, apartment, like it was, it wasn't like all the other stuff, like the cops showing up. The, the they were very understanding about all that stuff. It was the woman screaming all night, and she's loud, like screaming like horrible, scary shit too. She's. A net negative. <laughs> Get rid of her. But as you, you basically got the details, the deets. You don't get to hear why I got to move because my trolls are fucking assholes. And I'm just going to leave it at that. I will discuss these things. It's, it's sad because it's not a good give and take. Like he got two <laughs> weeks worth of pussy. And and he and, and in that time his glasses got broken, his uh the, the his window got broken, the cops came two or three times, he got a strike on his channel, and now he has to move to another apartment. It wasn't worth it. All for pussy that smelled like fast food, apparently. Wendy's, yeah. Couldn't even smell like Whataburger. My goodness. At a much later date where I'm settled and everything's more, you know what I'm saying? But I've been taking the steps that I need to make it happen, Captain. Mo you mean like you told your dad? Moving's going to suck ass. I love living up here, but it is what it is. Hey, at first I was like, go Cobra, like. You know, like I didn't know that much about her, and at first I thought she was acting like she when was crazy. When was acting up, Josh should have taken a page out of Sir Sean Connery's playbook. She clearly doesn't know when to. She leave it don't alone. know when to leave it alone. She don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I I didn't realize she was that psycho and even like worse off mentally than Cobra. Like, and and a lot of Co Cobra has anger problems too, but he takes it out on inanimate objects like like his phone he busts his phone yeah. when he gets mad at it and stuff she was just very focused and she would start arguments and then act like it was his problem for for <laughs> even even like defending himself at all it was really weird no she's not but thank you for your 279 because I, I know it's not normal but i thought uh i thought when uh Jessica first came on the scene. She was someone leeching on clout, which she she kind of is. But I thought she was acting 
more like him on purpose, so he thought they had yeah. stuff in common. But it just kind of seems That's like actually crazy. Yeah. Yes. In in a in a way worse way too, a very terrible way. I see a lot of myself in Jessica. That's why I don't judge her, to be honest. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that she's toxic for me, and quite frankly, I don't care. I'm not going to go into fucking detail on uh, any of it, but we're getting it taken care of. Yeah, except she doesn't do that crap, so I'm going to have to ban Yeah, yeah, she, she like, traps... I, I've seen her do this to her parents, too, because she live streams her worst moments, too, for some reason. Like, she'll start an argument about nothing, and there's no way out of it. If you if you don't respond, she freaks the fuck out. But if you do respond, she freaks the fuck out. And there, it's totally unclear what is what the issue even is. It's like that. Yes, that's. Um, yeah, I get you in trouble. Yeah, yeah. I I have to say I've dealt with stuff like that. You know, I'm almost forty three, and throughout my life, I've I found myself with people that do that kind of stuff from time to time it's a very toxic way of being and yeah i've, I've found my way with people like that yeah um, Any for chats? am i moving to virginia no i am not lap dance fund <laughs> thank you for your ten dollars lap dance fund well i wonder what the strip clubs in casper wyoming are like for some reason i'm i'm i'm, I'm imagining like like uh, strippers that are like, you know, six months pregnant or something. <laughs> or like uh, one of them has like a hook for a hand or something. Okay, I can get a lap dance from Jessica next time I see her, which may not be for at least two months. And uh, I, it might be longer than that. If you're smart, it's never. But, <laughs> but here's the thing. King Cobra... He's easy to manipulate because the one thing he'll never do is do what his trolls want him to do. So as long mm -hmm. as his trolls are like, just, you know, do this or we don't want you to do this, he'll do the opposite every time. Not knowing that's what they want him to do. Yeah. Yeah, because he has the oppositional defiance disorder. So he he normally wants to do the opposite of what he's told or what what the like popular uh yeah thing to do is he wants to do the opposite his dad described it perfectly he was like yeah the like if i tell him that he should do something he's never gonna do it so yeah it is what it is oh, no. no you cannot because i fucking get, hate a, that. get a shout out for cyrax a piece of shit how about who's a sicko who's a confirmed sicko fuck cyrax by the way please like the stream if you haven't already and give us a subscribe also yeah, wanna, yes uh after this stream is over which isn't for a while but when it's over uh i'm gonna bring back the patreon post shows that are exclusive to all of our patrons ten dollars and up so if you're one of them hang out after the show, I'm going to do a post show, going to watch some content, maybe take some calls from patrons, talk about some stuff. Uh, and if you're not a patron, you can sign up. It's the $10 level and up. Patreon.com slash DP. Thank you. How dumb do you people think I am? Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, if I see Puff, I'll definitely... No, I'm not going to leave him behind if I see him. You're not going to leave him behind if you see him. That's his lizard that he almost definitely let freeze to death. Uh, but he's like, oh, he's probably just burrowed somewhere waiting to come back. Well, now when Puff comes back, you're not going to be there, Cobra, because you got to move. Puff isn't going to know. If he still survived anyways. I doubt it. Uh, cool taste isn't going to help me pack. No, but thank you for your $5. My dad is not mad that I have to move. If anything, we're just sick and tired of all the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't go out of my way to fuck with people. Homeless wizard are coming in nicely tubes. That's what's up.
Oh, the message got deleted. Shouldn't have been talking shit, I guess. I have more fans than I do trolls. A lot of them are the same. A lot of them are fans and trolls. They're truly fans. Yep. And some like him. Some are neutral on him and some just despise him. And my trolls are just fucking losers. They really are. They are just the absolute fucking worst. And the trolls are legitimately jealous of me. Otherwise, they wouldn't care. <laughs> Why do I have to move? Because my trolls are fucking assholes. And then just leave it at that. I don't think anyone, unless they have some kind of like humiliation fetish, is jealous of what was going on between you and Jessica. He's, um... Maybe, I mean, there are some sickos out there that's like, that's like, yeah, scream at me, mommy. Scream at me. But uh, not most. Jason, I don't want to get into it. I give you the basic of details, but that's it. That's all you're getting. And I don't want to fucking move because I really like it up here. The building manager is a really chill dude. You know, the staff here are amazing. The view is amazing. The view is amazing. I'm trying to imagine what, like, is he facing the mountains or something? Or is it like a view well, of the... It is a beautiful country in mountains. Now. Sure, sure, sure. And Casper's not a huge city. So you could probably see the mountains yeah. from in the city and everything. Um, but I, I also picture like he looks out his window and there's like a liquor store right there. <laughs> yeah. The the loaf and jug. That's that's his version of the piggly wiggly. The loaf and jug. The loaf and jug. Yeah, the loaf and jug. Like I'm, I stopped by the loaf and jug to pick up some swisher sweets. Yeah, the dry spell ending came with a steep price that's what i was saying if we look at all of the stuff that's gone wrong since the dry spell ended i w if i had to choose it like if i was in his place i would have chose now knowing what happened i would have chose the dry spell continuing <laughs> seems like everything went wrong yes well it's her she's just <sighs> but now <sighs> We all know when it comes to us, sometimes they have some problems. Problems come with us. Yes. Problem, problematic person, baby. <laughs> I might get into the details of it when I get into my new spot, but for now, I don't want to discuss it. I like living up here, but I'm going to find something better. Gonna have to. He should have. He should have just spent all the money that he spent on her on Wendy's instead. That exactly. would have been a better use of it. Next time, I'm just fucking begging me. <laughs> I'm not telling you how much time I have left. You probably have 30 days because that's the standard in most places. Or if I find a place or when I'm moving. I mean, we'll know when you find a place because you'll stream from it and tell everybody. Because that's none of your damn business. <sighs> There's a huge level of oversharing, you know. Uh, that's why people know as much as they do about all this stuff. People need to be fucking nicer to Jessica. That's all I'm saying. She's. Uh, it's really difficult to be nice to her because she's a, a fucking horrible person. Most people would not have put up with the way she was acting. I would have been like, all right, uh, I, I'm calling you an Uber to the airport. And you can ex exchange your ticket for, like, something today instead of a couple days from now. Goodbye. 
Yeah, it's, uh, you can tell she's good. It's, and it's going to get worse, too, with him. I heard she's freaking out live right now, but I, I, I'm i going to wait till we get through this, and I'll go check in and see what she's doing. Well, I'm just, I'm tired of people bullying Jessica. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't I'm tired of her bullying you. <laughs> like, I don't know. I fucking need more fucking mental stress. Well, my current landlord has been very patient with me. One of the best landlords I've ever had. Really super nice dude. You can tell when she's there that he's all benzoed up, too. I think she's bringing Zannies with her, and, and he's taking them, because the whole time she's there, he's like, ah, 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 like that. And now she's gone, mm-hmm. and he's back to normal again. We want to work with you. But there's only so much you can do, and that's not fair to him, and it's not fair to me. And honestly, I'm not mad at him or anyone here. It's just the life that I live. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just the life I live. Got he's it. Laughing. He's got to. He's got to have the crazy. He's addicted to the crazy now, because he's all in. He's he. He has not said he's going to break up with her or anything. He's he's all in. The last time my YouTube trolls got me kicked out of my last apartment. Yeah, okay, they did not get him kicked out. His neighbors complained about spray paint fumes coming from his place. Uh and and smoking, you know? Uh so he was smoking inside when he wasn't supposed to and he was spray painting because he makes these magic wands and he was spray painting them inside so that's how he got kicked out it wasn't his trolls i got into a bigger and bigger space so you think they would learn they're fucking with cobra i just you know what i'm saying doesn't do them any good no, I got nothing but positive things to say about the apartments I'm currently living in. I've never complained on my neighbors. I've never gotten a complaint in like the last five years. Yeah, so a few days ago, he started with this, like, I've never complained about my neighbors. And everyone was like, what's going on? Did his neighbors complain about him? And that is what happened. This- yeah, no one compl- you never complain about your neighbors because you're the one always making a ton of noise. You're the one making all the fucking noise. Yeah. Man. You know, it's weird too, because you know what? He has had some late night meltdowns in the past. So I it's not totally her, but she was like the the biggest factor. Um Yeah, she's like the finisher, basically. Yes. Your- so I'll be discussing <laughs> details when I'm in my new spot, and I'm all unpacked and everything's set up. But for now, we're going to focus on just doing videos like nothing happened. <laughs> and then when I feel comfortable enough, I will discuss the situation either live or on a pre-record. There you have Like it. the last five years up here have been so nice. Like, I love this apartment complex that I'm living in right now, and it really fucking sucks that people just don't understand or they got to be dicks or whatever, you know. Cobra deserves better. Nothing you can do about it. That's just life in a nutshell. But I will get into a place. The biggest reason why I didn't stream with Jessica very much when she was here is because... You didn't stream at all while she was there. Because I'd rather spend time with her than... She was streaming the whole time. What are you talking about? Th- this notion that like, oh, I just want to spend time with her so I didn't stream. It's like, well, she streamed the whole time. So you still... Exactly. Sp- yeah, so you still spent time with her. Thinking about me streaming all the time kind of thing. But the funny thing is, though, that I noticed is he never she was sitting on the couch behind him and he never turned the chair or anything. He was always facing away from her. I think that's hilarious. 
It is what it is. Because like I said, I will go live when I want to. No outside factors determine that. This is my YouTube channel. I'm getting some new glasses too. They couldn't tint them green when they transitioned into sunglasses in the sunlight, but I digress. I'm not complaining. They're they're a fucking sweet new set of glasses, man. I digress. Now, I'm not going to judge Jessica for her uh, mental problems because I've got mental problems too. No you shit. know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Karma's a bitch, and when it catches up to my YouTube trolls. Jessica has her panic attacks, and I get that. I feel that. But it's going to be okay. It's going to be just fine. Life happens. All we can Are those panic attacks? I guess the they can be. I guess people can get kind of cranky when they're... When they're having like anxiety attacks, but I, she was more than cr mm. cranky. She was psychotic. Mm. If Jessica's freaking out right now, I'm sorry. It's not my fault. You gotta take the bad and the ugly in life and make it something she's beautiful. Always freaking out, eh? Yeah, she's always freaking out. I I hear she's freaking out right now. So we'll see. That's what it's all about. You're regarded. That no, sucks. I gotta move out of the or bleh, the apartments. You know what I'm saying? But like, fucking, it is what it is. Happy eviction. Happy <laughs> eviction Easter. Now I've got nothing nice, nothing but nice things to say about this apartment complex that I'm currently residing in. It's a Sweet spot. It's got a great view. He said you that. Know, I'd recommend it to anyone who can afford it. It's a legit trap house complex. Anyone could afford it. You homeless regard. When I get posted up in a new spot, I'll let you know. I'll make a video and be like, I'm back. <laughs> Stay alive, stay alive. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, he does a lot of karaoke on his channel, and he's a big... Uh, he, he likes to do the Bee Gees a lot, apparently. That's real goth right there. Yeah. I'm a woman's man, ain't no time to talk. Known goth group, the Bee Gees. Yeah, yeah. I'm back. <laughs> oh, shit. So then when I move into my new place, the trolls aren't going to have my address for a long ass time or ever if I can help it. Ah, uh, someone will find it. And then what? You're not going to be able to send me stupid shit through DoorDash anymore. There's a good chance if he moves into a new apartment complex, someone in there will recognize him. It's already happened at the one he lives in now. And that's what's really going to suck. See, the trolls do this crap to themselves if they're entertained by the fact of they know where Cobra lives and they can send him stupid shit through DoorDash. And then they do their crap to the point where I have to get a new place. So not, now, now you're ruining your own fun at the expense of trying to fuck with somebody who has Asperger's. Good job. You ever seen when they sent him the sauce sandwich? It was a it was a it was a Subway twelve inch sub packed with every sauce that they have, but nothing else. Damn, he ate it. And I don't care if the Osbournes fucking notice me. To be honest, they just want them to live happy and healthy lives. I absolutely fucking worship the ground Ozzy Osbourne walks on. Someone told him to, someone asked him to name like his top six Ozzy songs and he couldn't even name six of them. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. That is pretty bad. <laughs> no, she did not. 
You only need to fucking leave Jessica the fuck alone. You people are so fucking deranged. You can't handle the fact that Cobra's got a girlfriend, and all you can do is talk shit. Yes, all the donations I get are going to go towards helping me move, do food hacks, and get into a new spot. So anything you can do will be appreciated. Someone sent him cat food and he ate it. He it was like that canned cat food, like the wet kind of cat food, and he just he cracked that can open and just ate it. Like he thought it was owning the trolls, but he didn't realize that it it was what they wanted. That was like the ideal situation. Yeah. They said they sent him like wood chips, like hamster bedding or like mulch. It's it's crazy. Bags of ice because they know that he'll leave the deliveries outside uh, in the hallway. So they deliver bags of ice uh, and then they just melt. <laughs> I got to move out, but I will get into something much, 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 much better. I got a feeling about it. And I do ignore the trolls for the most part, but when they're in your life constantly fucking with you and your personal life, <clears throat> eventually they're going to get caught up in their own bullshit. Well, it, it helps to, like, not have a girlfriend that's constantly live streaming her, like, crazy psycho meltdowns. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, people are going to get sick of it. Sitting there bullying an autistic person. Yeah, we're sick of Jessica bullying an autistic person. Oh, shit. He's got his dip. Oh. Do you ever dip? It's right. Oh, there you go. You're just you're just into the nicotines. You're you're all about them. I've, I've been dipping since I was a teenager. Oh, look at that! Throw it in there. No, what? Oh, god damn it! That is some good dip. So good, dip. lucky lipper. Is that what you do? Or are you like, damn, that's some good dip? I don't do that, but I also don't do what he just did. It annoys me. It's okay. I always see people who dip it in the front of the lip like that. Isn't really dippers. Oh, what's they, the right they way? To be, they do it to be noticed. I, dude, I've been dipping. I've been doing this show in front of you and you never even noticed it because it's in the back of my mouth. Nobody even notices it. I mean, you spit though, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I would notice but that. I also swallowed it. Ah, my body it. Gross. I remember I used no, to get the. When I did dip for a very short period of time when I was like a teenager. And I remember yeah. uh, I had the. The kind that comes in the little pouches. Yeah. Yeah, because it wasn't as messy. It was in a little pouch. Yeah, it's not as... It's not as cool. Yeah. So many people use pouches. I just... I can't get the, ta the taste of it as much, so... I see. Uh, you lucky. Do you punk? It's like dipping a filter... You know, I got these scars. You can stand me up at the gates of hell. Wow, I thought Tom Petty was in Cobra's apartment. I'm like, is Tom Petty renting the apartment? And, like, is he touring it right now? Did he come back from the dead? It's funny, though. Like, he's supposed to be so gods and shit. And all these people, he's saying, like... The father is thing from God. None of the music he actually listens to would be categorized as goth. Ozzy isn't goth. Uh, yeah. yeah, like Ozzy's like like rock, like shock rock. I mean, it, metal. He, yeah, some of it is, and Black Sabbath is like early metal. You know, yeah. um, real metal. 
but not uh, not goth. None of it's goth. Uh, I don't even know what is would be considered goth music. Like uh, like Bauhaus and uh, Susie and the Banshees and the Cure. Like especially the like. I know the Cure, but the other thing um, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, there's there's a bunch of them. I mean, do you remember? Do you remember like Adam Ant? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Obviously, like categorizing music, though, it's it's subjective. It, there's no objective way to categorize music. Um. Yes. I like when people bring up metal and then they and the instant they go to fucking Metallica, I want to puke in their face and then beat them to death with a baseball bat. Because if Metallica's anything, they're pop metal. They're the Backstreet Boys of fucking metal is what they are. Yeah, I was never a fan. Um, I can't like obviously there's there's a level of talent. Uh because they play their instruments well and everything. I'm just not a fan of their genre or their... I hate them. I don't hate them because I don't know them, but... I I... hate them. I love them. Next week, I'm going to be busting my ass looking for places and... By the way, Crate of Filth, also not goth. I'm confident I'll get into a place here soon. I got a good feeling about it. Something's just telling me to just keep doing my thing and quit worrying about it. Oh my god, he ripping ass. Dude, good lord, that fart smells horrible. I don't want any drama with Jessica. I deal with enough drama with folks. Uh, then, if you don't want drama with her, you need to get away from her because there's just going to be. Get away from that bitch. Yeah. My YouTube. That bitch be crazy. I'm just here to keep her safe and make her feel loved and appreciated. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying. Even if I don't say it, to her specifically, I have my own special way of showing. Another uh, another band that could be considered goth is Sisters of Mercy. That's another band that I've listened to. Uh, Joy Division, like a lot of a lot of it came out of like post punk, and and some in mm-hmm. some cases like new wave. Like post punk was like the shit that came after punk. Obviously, that was like. Yeah. Darker and sometimes electronic in some ways. Uh, that her shit is appreciated. I don't really like. I don't really. The guy scene really irritates me. It's, yeah. I mean, I'm not having against him. It's just a, uh, seems like a buddy. You just they're like emos with. Better fashion. I mean, emo emo is a weird thing that has been. Uh, I mean, like emo used to just be like hardcore. Like emo came out of like hardcore music originally, and yeah. they just dressed like like hardcore people, not not the like flattened hair over one eye and shit like that. Yeah, but, yeah. I'm working on a new album, but that might take me a hot minute. Yeah, we're just chilling like rock star villains. I didn't go live on my birthday, and you're like, oh, we missed that. I was having such a crappy birthday that I didn't feel like going live. Old smoky moonshine, peach, peach flavored moonshine. I don't have any problems with Jessica. Otherwise, I would just... I would fucking tell her. I'd be like, hey, listen here, woman. Hey, listen here, woman. Yeah, that's going to work. She's not going to be like, what? What? Like that, like we've heard her so many times. 
you know. So fuck all the assholes for asking Jessica. Whoa, bro, what's moon shit? I don't need to pour that much. You want to see Cobra get lit? Uh, okay. I can work on that. That's not how you drink moonshine. Taking the alcohol my fans sent me and just drinking it. I just told about moonshine, so it's a little bit weaker, but. Yeah. yeah. He had some absinthe that he was drinking. It seemed really strong, too, because when he took a big sip of it, he, like, coughed it out of his nose. Dream. Like, look at me go. It'll cut his fucking ear off. It's gonna get you. Jar, that'll fucking light your whiskers. Be- yeah, normally the way to drink absinthe is to like melt it, melt a sugar cube with it, and it like sweetens yeah, it up. Cause, a lot. Yeah, because normally it's really strong uh, and it burns I'm your mouth. Using my magic to get into a new place. And we so used about that- PGA and we diluted down and shit. Hmm. Doesn't matter at this point. I feel sorry for my YouTube trolls. You're not going to know about how much time I got left on my eviction or any of that shit. Because quite frankly, that's none of your damn business. <laughs> and seriously, fuck my YouTube trolls. They are the miserablest people on the planet. And I feel sorry for them. I really do. You know what? He does say some of the same stuff Jared does. Because the whole, like, my trolls are the most miserable people. And I just feel sorry for them, man. He do- Like, Jared does say that. Like, well, you better not go live, Cobra. They're but- doing that to get you to go live because they know you'll do the opposite of what they tell you to do. Like, dude, no one's forcing you to watch me go but live. They- <laughs> Of course, Jared is. Jared is a fucking sick. Jared is irredeemable. Jared is disgusting. Jared is one of the worst people I've ever encountered in my life. Cobra's not like that. Cobra has some, like you said earlier. Cobra has some endearing ways at times. He is charming at times. Yeah, Jared is just a perverted fucking freak, and he's just an asshole too. Like he's gross. In every way, yeah, he's grown. there's no redeeming qualities. Yeah, there's nothing. All. You know, moving day is gonna suck just because I have to do it. But it'll go. To me, Jared's not low cow. To me, Jared's a bad person. Some people would call him a horror cow, which is yeah. like a a different type of lo- of low cow. Uh, yeah. But I don't know. He is a low cow, and he's a piece of shit, and he's gross. He's just the most irredeemable human being I've ever encountered. Fine. Everyone, please like the stream and please subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it. Subscribe and and, and, and tip. Uh, yeah. Yes, please. Uh, yeah, we have a weekly tip go goal. There, man. Yeah, if you want to help us out, it's pinned at the top of the chat. I appreciate Thank everything you. that my dad does for me. You know, if my YouTube trolls had a dad as awesome as my dad, maybe they wouldn't be so miserable in life. You know, all my shit moved out of my apartment one day when it happens. Oh, and when moving day happens, you're not going to know about it. Uh, I'm pretty sure people will know about it because you'll stop making content and people will be like, oh, well... Or or you'll stop making content from this apartment, and people will be like, oh, well, he's definitely moved by now. My film of- and usually people get 30 days. Pre-recorded video of my empty- show up sitting in a Kroger box, well, no. <laughs> apartment like, well, this is different. Then outside of that, you're not going to know shit. That was quick. Yeah, yeah. I re- I was watching this live last night. I'm like, I started counting him like a boxing referee, and I got to a standing eight count, and then he got he got back up, and then he stops it's the stream. So stream. <laughs> uh, you know, I do worry about him though. What is alcoholism? 
I mean, now he's about to not have a place to live. So I'd say that's, I mean, that is a, a concern, but least of his worries. Oh, yeah, it looks like she's having some kind of weird. Oh, it's so fucking cold. This feels like Wyoming weather. And if I'm going to feel like this kind of weather, then you better put me back in Wyoming. Oh, oh. no. Yeah, where are you going to sleep torture. at? There's no place to stay in Wyoming anymore. Because <laughs> then I could at least be warm with my man. <sighs> She's listening to music, so I don't want to watch her that much. <laughs> but yeah, she's she's just... Uh, she's a piece of work. She's a work of peace, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, and by the way, I wouldn't, I don't know why anyone would want to watch her right now. We've had enough of her for now. Maybe we can check up on her in a month or so, uh, unless something crazy happens, obviously, but I'm, I've kind of had my fill of Jessica for now. So please Jeez. like the stream, though, and we'll, uh, we'll check out some like, other stuff. No. I'm going to put you on full screen for a minute here. I'll be right back. All right. It's what they want to see right now. They want to see this beautifulness, the, the handsomeness that is combined. How y'all doing, folks? I love y'all. Just want to tell y'all. Oh, if y'all if you, if do check out my TikTok you know, and Instagram and all that, look in the bios. I have a link to my shop and merchandise and stuff. So, yeah, got some hoodies and t shirts over there. Check that out. And there's also a TikTok shop that's carrying that stuff. So, yeah. Mm hmm. Really, my ass. Bitty ain't never been this pretty. Bitty the Fred ain't never been this pretty. What you talking? What you talking in there? He ain't never been this damn pretty. Anyways. So how y'all doing? I hope y'all doing well. I really do. A lot of crazy shit been happening, yo. Y'all, um, P. Diddy on the run? <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of people going over down on this shit. That P. Diddy shit is crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Great. Oh shit, I'm knocking. See what you're gonna do. You're gonna knock shit over. That's all right, though. The trunk and pill. Y'all make sure y'all uh, show me some support. Make sure you like the stream. Share it. Tip him if y'all can to get that live go there. So. You gotta make sure y'all check that. We do that. Do it. Do it for the Benjamin. For the Benjamin. Yeah. I'm not got the other chat room pulled up. I'm only can see the the Discord chat here. What's going on here? Yeah, there we go. Cigara. Smoke a cigarette. Oh, I'm sure you haven't seen Gail in quite some time. I have not. Check this out. Hey guys, it's me, Gail. First off, I apologize for using a script. As you all may know by now, I frequently use scripts for my videos to help me stay on topic and avoid going on tangents. For this video, I figure I'll need to make sure I say what I need to say and that nothing important is left unsaid. I'll try not to stare at the script the whole time because this is a serious topic, but if you're wondering why I appear to be reading from a script, I just wanted to let you know why. First of all, Happy Easter to everyone who celebrates. I hope you all had a safe and fun weekend. With that being said, let's get right to it. There's no other way to say this, but 
You've been trolled. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> yeah, you all have been trolled. Now let me explain. You see, I originally started this channel as an ARG. That's an alternate reality game for any of you interweb noobs. I never thought anyone would really watch my videos or that my channel would ever become popular. I was kind of just doing it for my own entertainment, the way that she trolled all of my you. My channel took off really took me by surprise. I've been blessed to amass such a large following. I deeply appreciate all of the support and the fan engagement. To that effect, I feel like I really owe many of you an apology. Over time, <clears throat> I realized that my audience didn't actually realize that my channel was an ARG. Many of you truly believe that I was at the center of a world conspiracy, that I really was having brain-to-brain -brain conversations with all of these celebrities, that I really was married to Brent Spiner and going on all of these surrealist sci-fi adventures with famous people and fighting strange supervillains. I kind of thought you all were in on the joke. I mean, come on. Sent you tacos and burritos, Moonsico, come noble, a fat woman running around San Francisco eating gay gingers and Oscar Mayer weenie mobiles. <laughs> come on, it was funny. I didn't anticipate or expect that I'd be attracting so many viewers with mental illness. I feel like in some cases, for those of you who are really vulnerable, my videos may have been your trigger. And for that, I deeply apologize. This is something I've known about for a while. And what started as a joke kind of turned into a cult following. For years, I've chosen to keep up the charade because I felt bad. She she was keeping up the charade. For those who really believe charade. in all of this. I know how bad this is going to sound, but part of me thought I was helping you because you were always really entertained by my stories and it seemed like it kind of gave you guys a sense of purpose participating in these exciting fantasy adventures. I've made some really good friends through my channel, yeah. like Zach and 13. And I still consider them really good friends. And I hope that they, they still consider me their friend, in spite of everything. It's just that it's time now for me to be honest. I deeply care about mental health. And I feel like the responsible thing for me to do now as an influencer is to be upfront and honest about what this channel is all about. There you go. It's a joke, you guys. <laughs> it's satire, okay? <laughs> For those of you that I've unintentionally strung along, thinking all of this was real, I want to say... Is this real? <laughs> <laughs> I love her so much. From the bottom of my heart that I'm sorry. I strongly I encourage... I think a lot of those kind of figures she was trolling all these years would still... Now I don't know what she's showing now. Professional help so that you can begin to develop a healthier relationship with reality. Zach and 13, I want you both to know how much I appreciate your friendship over all these years. And I hope that our role playing has created some fun memories of good times together. And that you can still look back and remember them fondly. I never meant to cause or worsen any mental illness that you both may have been dealing with. <laughs> and I hope you can forgive me. So that's what I needed to say. I'm sorry that it took me so long to tell you all this. I should have been clear and honest about what was going on a long time ago. Before things got so far out of hand. I hope that you all understand know that I really care about all you guys and I hope that you all get the help that you need and that we can all move forward laughing together. Amen. In a world of secrets, uh -huh. There you go.
Here's the Patreon. Wow, look how ripped Brent Spiner is in that picture. He's looking good. Now there'll be a video come out and they 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 got a hold of my my there was AI I, that wasn't really me and all that I, shit. I don't know. Yeah. I think Gail's been trolling us for over a decade. I think that was the the longest long troll ever. We lost our innocence today. You remember back in the day, I don't know if you remember. You remember back in the day, there was this content channel. It's when when YouTube first got going, man. It was just like lovely girl, some some, and it, it started out as like you know her just it, like being on the webcam, but come to find out, she was really an actress, right? And is the, the the stuff got crazy, like they was kidnapping her and all that shit. And you know, and the people That's thought it was real for a minute there, but then it was come out they were all acting, you know. And then they did a show. I can't remember what the name name that. It. it was pretty cool though. Yeah, yeah, I, if, yeah. That this is next. We lost our innocence today because yeah. of this. I saw this clip earlier where like. Some guy's neighbor accused him of like grooming <laughs> his cat. Um, watch this because this is crazy. Oh, shit. hold on. My fucking thing is uh being stupid. I'll fix it really quick. My bad. There we go. We made He's he has this weird conspiracy theory and calls this guy a cat pervert. I just want to be clear. You're upset because we made friends with your cat. You're unreasonable people. You're holding our cat. Go in your yard and say, Mercury, go home. Don't come in our yard anymore. She they will want not to... She's a cat. She doesn't speak English. She's a cat, dude. Really? Okay. Right. Huh? Well, we'll have the police department figure it out. Absolutely. Okay. Great idea. Right. Cat pervert. <laughs> Cat pervert. I have done. I've done nothing cat to bring pervert. the cat. I've done He's like, you should tell your our cat not to sit on your car. I guess no, I don't I know. The... Uh, give me just a second here with this player. But yeah, cat pervert. Cat, wait. You see what I'm doing with me? This is what I do with our folks right here. Um. Maybe they were that's that's what we should call Scott from now on. <laughs> Cat pervert. Yeah. Just to there, issues, we man. there we go. My resolution got all messed up and it like stretched it out all weird. That's better. Um Cat pervert. But yeah, it was just sitting on this person's car and the person was like butt hurt. <laughs> Cat pervert. Um, Cat pervert. Let's let's check out uh, our buddy Brett. See how he's doing. How about that? Individual situation. Check out the beautiful asshole. The individual Brett King <laughs> segment situation. All right. So this is an old school Brett video that I thought might be fun to go back and revisit. This is an old Brett video from a long time ago. You know, like 15 years ago, roughly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when did you do this? All right. Yeah, okay. All right. If I ever get into some kind of accident or something horrible happens and... I have to go to the hospital, be put in plugs. I would ask... Be put in plugs? What is being put in plugs? That's weird, man. I guess they're going to chop him up and put plugs in <laughs> people's ass. I don't know. If I heard to be put in plugs... ...that I would be basically put down. I don't want to live on some kind of machine, and I believe that those type of situations cause... Ah! 
those types of situations. That was before he was broken of the of the situation. Basically, all of the situation memes just destroyed his ability to use that word. Put him in plugs. Pimp Monk X. Put him in plugs. Hey, catfish face. Catfish face. Put him in plugs. Yeah. It's more pain catfish. to the families <laughs> involved than it does the person who's actually in the situation. Ah, another one. That's two. Let's keep the count together. That's two. Uh, once your brain is that fucking messed up after whatever's happened to you, there is no real reason to continue to progress it. To progress, sir. The things that I try to leave behind and my main concerns, what is most important to me is my family and my, my family. friends. It is the number one thing that is important to me and everything that I have and everything that I own will be given uh, to my wife, children, and your wife, children? <laughs> that sounds weird. My closest friends. Um, I don't suspect that if there was a funeral with me that there would be very many people. A funeral with you or for you? <laughs> yeah, you know, the way it's awesome sometimes. But, um, <laughs> Uh, just those that I plan on giving my stuff to. Um, throughout my life, and this is one thing I've told... He looks like one of those green guys that guards Jabba the Hutt. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. My wife, as well as my closest friends. As well as. I'm the type of person, whenever I'm in a crowd of people, I still feel alone. I feel like I'm in the darkness. Um, I don't... Uh, really believe that I would care too much. Pig axe men, yes. At least right now, uh, thinking about people attending my funeral. I myself, I'm disturbed by going to funerals. I... You know what? Has anyone ever played Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link? And you die and it shows Ganon and he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that Brett kind of reminds me of that, too. find them to be primitive rituals and they... Uh, make me uncomfortable going to other people's funerals. So I would rather that my wife and children and closest friends go out and have a good time and celebrate uh, my life as opposed to saying goodbye. Turn my camera off for just a second. All right. I'm clear though. All right. Cool. Um, my wife and children and uh, close friends already know what it is they'll get from me. They'll get everything. What is that, though? That's probably nothing. Like, what is that? that? I've ever achieved everything that I've ever accomplished. Which is nothing. Uh, that would be my wish. Um, one of the, the second thing to me that is most important. One of the second thing to me. Important. That is most important. One of the second thing to me. Yeah. Is that my, my words and my message my information that I provide always be out there. You like like that video that you made where you showed how it was like you you made it seem like it was a tutorial video, but it was just you flagging people. You're like, this is how you report yeah. someone on YouTube. That was one of those channels. Yeah. In the world, whether it be on the internet or in the minds of people who know me personally. My only desire, my only real wish that drives me in life, um, besides number one, is to help people. To help them how? Try to help people find their path. And if what path? Even the fun path, man. Yeah, the path. Can't find the kind of path they're looking. How is how does Brett Keen help people find their path? How does that... Because you wasn't looking for a path, man. Is he like a guidance counselor? No. He is. For he what guides you. Want or to the path. a normal life. I think you should go to vocational school. I think you should become a welder. At least they can... They can find themselves and realize who they are 
and not to be afraid and learn to live. Oh, God, was that a fake cry right there? Live. Happily, or at least peacefully, um, without feeling uncomfortable. I One of my main desires is that people be able to accept themselves and learn how to care for themselves enough to where they can be proud of who they are so they can continue to live their life and not have to wear a mask or pretend to be something they're not. Hey, I'll tell you what. It is uncomfortable to have to wear a mask. It's uncomfortable. You did it for a while, didn't you? Yeah, I hated it. There was always like a bar (laughs) in between my vision, you know, like my two eyes. There was like a block. So I had a blind spot in between my two eyes, like right in the middle. And then uh, it also, I would sweat and it would like give me, it, it'd give me like acne breakouts because I would sweat into it and the sweat would be like held to my face and that would cause acne and, and all kinds of shit. I don't like it. Um, where they can be who they are and who they've always wanted to be. And that can be hard for people sometimes because there's some people out there who are very shallow and will only want to be friends with you and only pretend to love you based upon the mask that you wear at the moment. And by the way, I'm not talking about like like a mask we wore during the COVID lockdowns and everything. I'm talking about a Lucha Libre mask. Yeah. Which I don't know how people have wrestling matches. I, well, wrestling matches are usually only like 10 minutes tops these days. And like I would wear one of those for like four or five hours at a time sometimes. Yeah, but you know, well, think about the ones from the 70s and stuff, man. They used to have hour Broadway matches and shit. I, it, it obstructs your vision. I don't know how you can do it safely. It, it, it cuts off so much of your vision. Yeah. Hopefully people can get past that. So that's that is how I feel. I have already had dreams and pretty much I'm intuitive about how I will pass away one day. Oh yeah? I believe that when I do pass away it'll be dark and it'll be slow. I don't believe that I'm going Oh to- he's so man, Brett's more goth than Cobra. He is die in some kind of car accident I don't believe that I'm going to die by some quick painless deal I will probably die from smoking these I mean this was so this was 2008 you've had all this time to stop Pimunk you had all this time to stop with the cigarettes (laughs) whatever I will probably die from some kind of illness or Heart. I'm going to die of a wood chipper accident. Wood chipper accident. You'll be wearing like super loose clothing and chipping up some branches. And the well, wind will catch it. Somebody. You'll, be, you'll be wearing a muumu that day. <laughs> mm. it'll be, I'll be feeding one of my victims into the wood chipper. And I'll be wearing... I'll be wearing some kind of bloody nightgown. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, like a, a big muumu. And it was really yeah, windy. Psychopath wearing a muumu and really windy. And feeding them in the wood chippers. Yeah. Had my girlfriend over with her legs open wide, smelling like Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's the way I see it. That's the way I see it. So, yeah, a lot of people they hope and they, I guess, pray to go quick, but I don't see myself going quickly. I just hope that my videos um, continue to improve and that I am able to give the message. They didn't. They never improved. They got worse, actually. This is one of the best videos of yours I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, probably because, like, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. It's, it's better than most of your videos. That's not saying much, but this is one of your better videos, Brett. And, uh, help people positive bring back the situation no i see that dude on fucking on that show yeah, yeah bring back the individual situation 
He just won his one gallon. It was the Jersey Shore caught himself the situation. He did. Yeah, yeah. I remember that guy. I hated that show. Yeah. This is when I realized. Like, that show's still around, bro. Yeah, I know. I, I'm i not questioning its popularity. They're, the fa- they're doing like vacation shows. Yeah, and the, like, fact, God. the fact that it's popular is part of the problem. Like, it was a terrible show, but people yes. liked it. That's how I see things. Like, so it was like the the teen mom shows and all that. All that shit was just trashy and weird and gross. I like like competition shows, but the reality shows like that, I just can't get into. Yeah. It. It's weird. Well, you've been Kardashians, the all yeah. that weird yeah. Brett Keen, thank you. Arr. Death shall never claim me as long as I exist in your heart situation. Uh. So what did we learn so far tonight? We learned Cobra is, he's sticking with his lady, even if that means he has to find a new place to live. We learned Gail has been trolling all of us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you know, the American dream was tired of them putting hard times on the sexy goth bad boy. You don't know what hard times are, daddy. Hard times. It's when you want a six-year dry spell, and you've been crafting wands all day and accepting PayPal donations, do better, and road. you sit down and order yourself me. some DoorDash Kentucky Fried Chicken, only to realize it took away the double down. That's our time. And that is exactly what is wrong with today's society. As soon as they come up with a menu item like the KFC Double Down or the Chicken Cheddar Chalupa from Taco Bell, they take it away. That's our time. That's hard At times. KFC, you put hard times on the sexy goss bad boy, King Cobra. That's hard times. <laughs> and our boy has had hard times being called a sicko, daddy. He's he, had hard times being called a sicko, daddy. <laughs> no, he hates sickos more than he loves Ozzy Osbourne. And brother, it's hard finding a cisgendered of age, alive, non-related, and human female. <laughs> and he went two days without drinking. He went two days without drinking, Daddy. And this is how KFC repays him by taking away the double down, Daddy. <laughs> it's so I'm sorry. The first time I saw that, I laughed so hard. That went in my That's like funny. my folder of like videos that I want to keep forever. Hard times, Daddy. Taking away the double down. It's great. It's, it's pretty cool how Dusty's son one, is. Dusty, the real hard times in the promo, though, that was one hell of a promo. I can't think of another wrestler where, like, you know, like Dusty and Cody are like father and son who were both kind of like top guys and were world champions and all that. I can't think of another duo like that right now. Um mm-hmm. Well, um, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, like of this generation, like there were, there were like, there was like Stu Hart, and then like Bret Hart and Stampede, and there was, there was like Fritz von yeah. Erich and 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 some of the von Erich sons, but for like this uh, generation, I I can't think of another time because like because like Randy Orton surpassed his his father easily you know he did um and of course the rock and the rock. His yeah yeah so i don't know and it's rather because a lot of times you know like it's hard to surpass you like like brian christopher never got what his daddy got right? yeah. you know no. and you know because he can't I make mean, that's some big ass shoes to follow and 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 I feel sorry for the second generation a lot of times because of that. Yeah. But yeah. I think Ron Breaker's going to surpass his dad. I do. Yeah, they just should have let him have his family name instead of a dumb name. I know. I, I don't like That's that. That's some Vince either. McMahon garbage that they need to get rid of. Man. Dude, I love the other night. Did you see that? No, I haven't, been, Pump? I haven't been watching oh, it. Oh, dude, CM Pump, what's the Scottish dude's name? Um, uh, McIntyre, Drew McIntyre. Yeah, so Drew McIntyre. Well, Drew McIntyre brought up him being, he said, you know, I am the chosen one. And CM Pump, and everybody knew what he was talking about. Everybody, somebody, who gave you that tag? 
Can you, yeah. when you say the name of the game? Hey. And everybody started, the crowd started laughing because they knew they just because they can't mention Vince now, right? Three MB. They won't mention Vince's. Name. Um. Huh? Three MB. People just need to bring up three MB. I I wanted to play some other stuff. Did you? I, I don't know if you saw this. Uh, Pierce Morgan had this chess champion that's accused of cheating on his show, and he went like really hard on him. It was it was crazy. I don't know how much proof there is of this guy cheating, but I guess he's like a young chess champion. A lot of people hate me because of this, but I actually like Pierce Morgan. <laughs> Well, I'm joined now by Hans Neiman and by his like lawyer. He, he, Terry. he tells him up for what he thinks. So yes. like Over. So, first question, uh, Hans, for you: Why have you got your lawyer with you? Well, uh, considering the the recent uh, case and settlement, uh, some legal questions, I'm, you know, my my lawyer might be able to better answer. And uh, to be honest, uh, I'm, you know, uh, Terry and uh, his team has been. Frankly, you know, great and in, in, in helping me resolve this case. And it uh, is interesting when you do an interview, but you do have a lawyer sitting next to you in it. I yeah, mean, it's, I mean, it's, I don't know. I guess I would probably just not do the interview if if there's like criminal I have my stuff lawyer off to the side, you know, and like. Well, I mean, if there's criminal stuff against him, he, you know, maybe he shouldn't do the interview at all. You know, like yeah. just do say what you have to say in court. Uh, I'm very, very thankful to that. But you don't, look, it don't, it don't look good for you to bring your lawyer. No, <laughs> not usually. In me, and uh, you know, this is not just a. Uh, he's not just my lawyer. He's he's a friend. He's a confidant, and he's someone. Uh, who I trust uh, fully. And he's also getting probably paid like seven hundred dollars an hour to do this right yeah. now uh, uh, that's why he's here today okay so look you you are a chess prodigy no question you're a grandmaster which you got that title into 17 you grandmaster i don't I, that sounds like something huge you know you're right yeah. fourth i don't follow competitive chess but i'm guessing that's a big deal especially when you're 17 and you get it best junior chess player in the world so you're a brilliant chess player the question mark that got put over your head came after you beat Norway's world champion, Magnus Carlsen. This is back in uh, Missouri in September 2020. Is that Mickey Dolan's son? So a year ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and Magnus there. Now, I do know, I think it's that guy, the Magnus guy, is the one that beat the guy who played with the computer. He beat the, he actually beat the computer. He's a bad motherfucking chance. There's a documentary I watched about him. Who, the other guy? The guy on the left? Is that who you're talking about? The Magnus guy, the one in the blue, yeah. Yeah. He beat him, ending a 53-game unbeaten streak. And it's hilarious because Pierce Morgan is fascinated with the allegations of how he cheated to win. And he'll bring that up, and it's really weird. Uh, as a result, you're accused of being a cheat, and you're accused of cheating in a particularly uh, fascinating manner, which is the allegation was that your coach had basically uh, instructed you to insert anal beads inside yourself, <laughs> which he would then send remote signals to. Uh, first of all, when that story broke... <laughs> So <laughs> that's he's very fat. Pierce is into this shit, right? <laughs> I mean, sure. he's like, there's one part that's particularly fascinating, and it's it's like, why are you fascinated by this? Those allegations. What was your reaction? <laughs> well, obviously, it was very disheartening um, to be accused of cheating after after that victory. Um, but, you know, uh, uh, these things, you know, uh, it, it happened. Uh, and I learned a lot from that time. And uh, Come on now. It is disheartening. <laughs> if somebody, if you didn't stick beads up your ass and do that, you would have said something like, that's absurd. Yeah, you yeah, it that, is weird. Like, I would have said something like, that's just stupid. It really has taught me a lot of very, very important lessons no, about I'm life. You had beads up your ass. You had electric beads. <laughs> Remote control anal beads. Chess, and uh, I think it's only strengthened <laughs> my resolve, uh, and it's only motivated me, you know, further. And uh, it's it's shown me that, um, you know, with with the help of people like Terry, you know, in, in life, you know, it's it's really important uh, to have people who help you. And that's why, be because of this, I've started a, a scholarship where I'm giving away ten thousand dollars to talented chess players throughout the world. So, 
You know, I think that the... Oh, so he's he's throwing in some kind of like charity to kind of cushion the blow. You tell me you still look good. Yeah. You know, when, when difficult things happen to you in life, you have to learn from them and you have to, uh, you know, uh, move forward uh, and, uh, you know, you can't live in the past. Okay, but just to be clear, you didn't cheat. Of course not. So what have you, what have you had to learn if you didn't cheat? Well, uh, I think uh, the learning experience was more so the media attacking me and uh, all the, you know, trust world, you know, crashing down on me. Uh, I think, uh, learn, you know, dealing with that, you know, <laughs> was a learning experience, you know, dealing with all that pressure and competing under all that pressure. But, but again, to be clear, on the specific allegation, have you ever used anal beads? Well... <laughs> playing chess. Not a question I ever thought I'd ask a guest, to be honest, but... Uh, well, you know, your curiosity is a bit concerning, you know. Maybe you're personally interested, but... Uh, <laughs> That's a good comeback. I can tell you no. Okay, categoric no. Of course, yes, categorically no. no, no I obviously, I didn't, I didn't make the allegations. I'm just repeating what was put to you at the time. Yeah, but you also said that it was particularly fascinating. <laughs> so I think you really want to hear more about this. Uh, as a result of the furore that... So like... Hello, woman. So like, when you remove the anal beads, did you pull them out one at a time or did you just rip them all out at once? Developed. That's um, a hell of a accusation. I mean, that has, that's got to be so behind it. I think he wants to ask more questions about it. You were investigated by chess.com. They banned you uh, while they did this. Ah, chess.com is on the case. You better watch out. And they published a report uh, saying that you had likely cheated more than 100 times in online games. You then admitted you had cheated, I think, twice, you said. Uh, in online games on chess.com when you were 12 and 16, but denied ever doing so in an in-person game. Is that an accurate uh, assessment of what went down? That's correct. So I guess the obvious question from but that is, given you've admitted to cheating, is it completely outrageous that people thought you may have continued cheating? Well, let me just clarify that the chess.com report where they, you know, accuse me of cheating over 100 games is, is completely defamatory. And, you know, as outlined in my lawsuit. Uh, was it like, don't move that piece is like two quick uh, bursts from it. But then like, like, oh, do that. It's like, just just hold it down and, and mi let it vibrate. Yeah. Tickle that pancreas, baby. Someone should go check and see, like, if he looks like he's getting a prostate massage, uh, wh like, while he's playing chess. That'd be an easy way to clear that up. He wouldn't be able to... He Something on his facial expression would change. Plus, like, sitting down on that? What? I, I don't know. You know, uh, the first... I don't buy into it, but it's funny. It's a funny thing. The person who actually wrote that report, uh, Danny Wrench, told me himself... Uh, that they knew that I had never cheated while streaming. And uh, the most serious accusations in that report happened while I was streaming live on Twitch. And the only reason that they banned me, uh, you know, was because they were finalizing, you know, a merger with the Play Magnus group. And uh, their new, you know, s you know, star ambassador was making a mockery of himself and they needed to back up his accusations and discredit me. So hmm. Chester report accusing me of 100 games of cheating is, is frankly ridiculous. And the timing that they decided to ban me you know, only during this merger and only after uh, this accusation, you know, uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. And, and that report should not be taken seriously whatsoever. But you also, Pierce, it's important to note that it was a 51-page hit piece. Right. And at the end of those 51 pages, there was no evidence whatsoever that he cheated online. That was the accusation. That was what they had banned him from. That was what Magnus said. It's kind of like, this is almost like a deposition. Because that's yeah. normally when you're like, someone's asking you questions and you have your lawyer there with you. It's normally like a deposition. Uh, I don't so think be the best. That's what this feels like. Uh, stated, there was not a scintilla of evidence to support it. any okay. of that, and there still isn't. I understand, but, but just to be clear. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do you believe it? <laughs> he looks like it. <laughs> he looks like it? What does that he, mean? He looks guilty as fuck, dude. I don't know. I mean, his lawyer got beat up his head right now. 
<laughs> they each have the ro- the opposite remote control. <laughs> help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Again, um, that's when he's like, "I need help." Bzz, bzz, bzz. Oh, Angela. <laughs> And they're both like, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Hans, when you did... Shoot. Someone needs to turn that into like an SNL sketch or something. Oh, uh, yeah. The ones you've admitted to. What were the circumstances of the cheating? Well, I was 12 years old. Uh, and- Where it's like the- Pierce Morgan's interviewing them, but and they're like butt zapping each other like, oh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the, uh, uh, I was very young. It, it was not... Uh, it was, uh, you know, uh, in, a, in a tournament, but uh, it was a childish mistake and something I've admit to. And uh, I don't think that uh, something you do when you're 12 and something, you know, with, you know, a couple hundred bucks in the line uh, should have any. No, but you know, how, did you, like saying, how did you, you know, cheat? As... Anal beads. Well, you use a, <laughs> uh, you know, a, a chess engine to, 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 to give you the moves. Well, you just, well, a computer or something. Uh, someone was a, it was like an iPad. So someone was giving you moves from an iPad. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was a uh, it was a very childish thing. I had no, I didn't even understand the, the seriousness of, of what was happening. But then you were sixteen 12, and did it again. So. Was it the same the same thing again when you were sixteen? Anal beads, Pierce. Well, when I was when Anal I was sixteen, th- this was not <laughs> the event. These were random, meaningless games. It's like, you know, if YouTube wasn't so stuck up, I would have put like Pierce Morgan and anal beads in the title. Yeah, I would have. But how did play, you cheat you know, the second Duty time? You... It was the similar, similar manner. You see, so the first... maybe even in the thumbnail. This one you could put down to being a 12 year old kid. All right. You make a mistake. You learn your lesson. You move on. But to do it again four years later when you're 16, it's only like four years ago. Why did you do it again? Well, uh, you know, uh, it was a. I, I saw those views, those games as, as meaningless, um, and they were meaningless. There was no money or anything attached to them. And um, again, it was a childish mistake. I was living on my own when I was 16. Um, I was financially independent, and uh, I felt a lot of pressure. You know, I just simply wanted to, to uh, get a higher rating on on the website. But I want to make a differentiation, Pierce. When, when you when you talk about online chess and in-person chess. This is a very, very different thing. And you need to understand the difference between that. These online games, th- these are absolutely, absolutely meaningless. And, you know... I wonder how much money is on the line for these in-person games. A lot. Is it, like, how does... is Does competitive chess have, like, an audience that would fund? Yeah, yeah. It's a big time. Uh, pretty big. It's, you know... See, the thing about it, it's not that big here in America, but I, like a documentary I watched that time, dude, it's pretty big all across the world, you know. It's, it's, chess is a big deal, especially in certain parts of the world. Hmm. Interesting. Some it's of like, people... you know, you wouldn't think how, like, you wouldn't think cricket is big. You go from a different oh, no, no, no. Cricket's no, no, no. Cricket's huge, dude. I, there's a bunch of Indian people in the area that I live in, and they play a lot of cricket. Like they're really into yeah. cricket because you know, like India was was a it, British colony for a really long time. So yeah, that's one of the most crooked sports there was. Yeah, I don't know. I, lot, I don't know much about it. I just lot. know like baseball was kind of derived from it, and that's really all I know. Yeah. So I watch a lot of documentaries, and just what different stuff that makes me interest me. I watched one about cricket, and there was a big time. Controversy back in the day. Yeah, cool. there's two different cool. kinds of cricket. Dude. There's cricket darts too. Yeah. Or accusing me, you know, uh, in these casual online games, you know, uh, you know, some people are, are streaming. You know, it's not. You know, you need to really well, understand. I guess, look, the, here's the problem the I have with it. I, I don't like people that cheat in any form of competitional sport because to me, it just kills the integrity and purity of it. And I guess you would agree with that, right? No, of course. So, but you, you know, should my- understand, you know, the difference between when you're, a, you know, young child and, and you're under severe pressure, and, and and you make a mistake, and you know, you should also understand that uh, when it comes to over the board official tournaments, I've never cheated, and there's absolutely. By no- the way, uh, we you have to be on the show on July twentieth because we're gonna build like a big panel to watch Mike Tyson fight Jake Paul. 
It's going to be crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'd like, I'd, I'd like to be on the show. Yeah, I'd like to be on the show. How, how do you think it's going to end up? Dude, I, either way, I think Jake's fucked either way. Because Jake beats all he beat an old man. If he gets knocked out, he got knocked out by an old man. Yeah, the, um, thing, the thing that's going to make up for that is the money he's going to make, whether he wins or yeah. loses. Yeah, I... I do I think Tyson could beat him? Absolutely. Yes, he can. Win. He absolutely can win. Yes. Will he beat him? I don't know. Uh, but can he? Yeah. You let Tyson he can, get him yeah. with one good fucking shot, dude. Yeah. Tyson can knock so, anybody out. So one my shot. opinion on it is yes, Tyson can win. Uh, in the betting odds, he's not favored to win, and I understand that. Uh, yeah. It seems like Jake Paul probably has a speed advantage at this point, uh, but Tyson still is very quick for his age, and he can definitely hit harder than Jake Paul. Yeah. And and also, like it, it the longer the longer it goes on, the more of an advantage Jake Paul has, and probably yeah. if it goes to decision. It'll pro Jake Paul will probably win because I'm guessing Jake Paul will land more shots. Uh, Mike will try to land like power shots, uh, like well, bombs. This one's lying. Mike will come out like he always did, probably first round. The most dangerous round for Jake Paul is the first round. Mm hmm. Tell you right now, that's the most. How dangerous long are round the rounds going to be? And are they using like heavier gloves this time again? Yeah, you know, apparently Jake's gonna be wearing a helmet this time, though. No, 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 no. That's what they said. Okay, well that also gives him an advantage. No, 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 that 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 could that might not be true, but I did hear that. It uh, can't be a couple of people talking yeah, about that. I don't think so. I don't think that's true. But um, I hope it's not because he's already fought without the headgear. The round, that's like an amateur shit. Round. I think if Jay gets past second, third round, he may win. If he, if, if yeah, but that first round, he better watch the fuck out because Tyson's gonna have a lot of energy that first round, and he can. St and you watch his training video; the motherfucker still got power. The yeah, he definitely has power. He has power, and he still has speed. He doesn't have the speed when he was like twenty years old. Well, no, he don't have the speed he had when he was twenty. But it's still, of course. But but for a sixty, almost a sixty year old man, he got speed. Yeah, uh, Bryant in the chat said it's regular gloves and no headgear. I thought so because it's like a pro fight. Headgear is usually like an amateur thing. Um, oh damn! Got a ten dollar Patreon. Yeah, after this show, I'm gonna do a post show just like the old days. I'm going over to Patreon and doing a post show for all the ten dollar plus patrons. I'm gonna try to do one a week. So if you guys want to join in and we'll watch some more videos after the show's over, uh, feel free to sign up. Patreon.com/dp ten dollar level. There's a whole bunch of video content coming out this month at the ten dollar level. So you don't you might as well just sign up now at the beginning of the month. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, let's let's. But yeah, I think if he, yeah, yeah, I think if he survives the first three rounds, he's got a good chance of Jake Paul's got a good chance of winning. But that first round, better watch it. Better be careful. No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mike should just go hard on him because he shouldn't try I think, to. I think he should. He shouldn't try to like. I think he should like out. Try to knock his ass out in the first round. I think yeah, I yeah. Do. He shouldn't try to like go the distance. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, like, it, and that's what Mike Tyson used to do anyway. He used to just like go hard right at the beginning and knock the guy out in the first round, like all the time. And I don't like it when people say Jay can't fight because Jay can fight. He can. I guess we'll see what uh, happens. Is he is he a boxer? Boxer? I don't know. He hasn't really ever fought any real boxer except that one he lost. That's why he's fighting. Like that's why we know that Mike Tyson has a chance of winning. Like at the end of Mike Tyson's career, when he was like in his thirties, he was getting his ass kicked yeah. by like lower tier pro boxers. Yeah, he was. So. Uh, the fact that people think Mike Tyson has a chance against Jake Paul, who's like 30 years younger, is because they don't know if Jake Paul's a, like a professional level boxer. Because um, he always fights guys who like are MMA fighters or he'll fight like they're tough, guys, though. they're tough, but they're not pro boxers. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's like when Conor McGregor got beat up by Mayweather. It it's like that, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, oh, yeah, Tyson can win. He he has to try to win early, and that's that's basically it with that. I, I think this one should end, and I kind of I hope he does. <laughs> if if people bet on him and he wins, they're gonna win a good amount of money. No evidence that I've ever cheated. No, but we have. Been, in, yeah, but here's the, the problem. Board, here's know? the problem with that. I, I like I said, when you're 12, all right, I get it. But to do the same thing again when you're 16 shows there's a pattern. Well, and we only we only actually have your word for it, right? I mean, yeah. there might not be hard. I wonder if Tyson is like this. We've watched most of this, so but I do want to. I do want to say though, I wonder if Tyson still fights the peekaboo style that he did when he was younger, because that's what threw a lot of people off. Because it's uh, it was yeah. a strange fighting style that not a lot of people used. It was like a custom auto type thing mm. that he would he would train some of his boxers to do. And it's it's always a like a genius, by the way. It's always a defensive stance, and it's always like a, a lot of times uh, he wouldn't even have one foot forward, and it was an ambidextrous fighting style. So it was like knockouts could come from either arm. Um, mm. it it's really crazy. Uh, yeah, it was. It's a good style. I mean, was, you, Damato was a genius. Yes. Yeah. Um. We'll what? see how it. We'll see how it goes. We yeah. live in a time where, like, if the fight doesn't end the way people think it should, they're just gonna claim it was rigged. We live in just like a crazy time like that. Uh, mm-hmm. It's it's like Trump election logic. Uh, Mike Tyson is not going to get into a worked match. Um, I, no. Look, I think it's um I think it's going I mean I think the first round is gonna be interesting. And I, I mean it's gonna be interesting. I think he may I think he'll do it. If it but if it goes past the first round, I don't know. If it's I mean if it's actually under an athletic commission they, I mean, and there's all this like gambling tied to it. Also, I think a gambling site is one of the sponsors. I don't think you can work that legally. I think that there would be some serious issues legally with that. A, uh, not a official match, official boxing match. Yeah, yeah. When there's like all the like all the stuff that that has to go into it to make it like a sanctioned boxing match uh-huh. it'd be uh i mean people i i just think oh, there's so many conspiracy minded people these days and and people are just a like oh it didn't go the fighters. way i thought it would why well, couldn't it possibly have been wrong so it must be rigged that's it's just well, like i'm shocked about it a lot of real fighters are predicting Tyson Dollar. Uh, a lot of them were predicting he'll win too. I've seen uh, a, a fair amount of people still saying that they think he'll win. So it's, yeah, I don't know. I hope he does. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna. I, I I'm sorry, dude. I have a pea-sized bladder, so I'm gonna run to the bathroom and I'll be back and we'll watch some other stuff. So you mm-hmm. you get to talk to the people. They 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 love it. Your public loves you. Yeah. They love me. You love me. You really, really love me. But yeah, uh, I don't know what to say about that fight. Um, everything. And, you know, I do. I, 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 a big age gap of thirty years. So it's a hell of an age gap. Thirty years. Anyways, I'm I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight the dude to play the little dude from he's from Memphis. He was in he was in road trip. He's a skinny little guy, real skinny guy. I'm gonna fight him. Yeah, I because I'd be the only way I'd fight. 
Y en mi fútbol skinny, dude. Shit, these days I would. I throw out of here, just coughing. Crazy, man. It's crazy, man. Crazy, man. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Smoke inside, outside, smoke whatever the fuck I want to do. Don't worry about it. Can't even remember what you said there. Oh, uh, huh? yeah, me cussing people. What else we got? We've got what is this weird shit? Oh God! Uh, remember Wild Bill? I'll be a crazy in a while. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Bill's Front Porch. Thanks. On Easter, we commemorate the most important day in all of human history, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's the most important day in history. And on Christmas, we commemorate the virgin birth of Jesus Christ, two facts of history that are vitally important doctrines of the Christian faith. And yet every year, when those holidays roll around, people who call themselves Christians rise up to criticize that Christmas and Easter are pagan practices. And by celebrating them... Well, some of the parts of it are, like like the rabbit delivering eggs and the trees and all the trees in your house and that kind of stuff. Yeah, it is. Uh, they, they, there's a reason the why... Delivers eggs. If I ever there's eggs, you don't want nobody to know who's fucking chicken. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why a lot of these holidays coincide with, like, the equinox or the solstice or whatever. There's a reason why. Um, so. We are worshiping demons. Shame on those people. Christmas is about the greatest gift ever given to mankind. Luke 2.11. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior which is Christ the Lord. And Easter is about the most important announcement the world has ever heard. He is not here, for he is risen. When we say that we are celebrating the virgin birth and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, that is exactly what we are doing. Shame on those who try to shut down those celebrations every year. Christmas and Easter are the two days of the year when non-church people Sit up and take notice of the gospel story. Stop diminishing that. Christmas hymns have inspired faith for hundreds of years. And America's been watching a Charlie Brown Christmas for about 60 years. Okay. Christmas and Easter are the greatest family holidays we have. Nah, man. Thanksgiving. Best family holiday. Get to eat a lot of amazing food. That's my that's my ideal family holiday, Thanksgiving. Uh, Easter is don't like even as a kid, I was like, "What is this? What is this thing?" Like, I don't like eggs, so uh, I'm not a big egg eater. So that I don't want to hunt for hard boiled eggs in a in in a lawn somewhere. I don't think so. All done in the name of Jesus Christ, not Ishtar not some demon of Easter eggs. Ask yourself. Usually uh, Easter dinners are uh, have lamb as the meat for a lot of people because it's like the lamb of God, you know? Yeah. Um, and usually Thanksgiving, the primary meat would be turkey and normally with like, I would say with most Christmas dinners, it's ham. So I would not say every holiday dinner is the same. Obviously, there's crossover. But usually that's, it, they're, they're different. Mm -hmm. Who is it who would benefit the most from shutting down Christmas and Easter? Satan. Satan wants to eliminate the knowledge of Jesus Christ from the minds of the American people. Easter's a Satan, dumb holiday. Yeah, yeah. Satan is the one who wants to shut down holidays that draw attention to God's plan of salvation. The people who call themselves Christian, who go on a rampage against Christmas and Easter every year, 
I believe they are doing the devil's work. I like St. Patrick's Day better than Easter. Don't let anyone tell you that it is wrong to raise up the name of Jesus and to point people to the Savior. Easter is almost here, and I am really looking mm. forward to commemorating the resurrection of my king. And by the resurrection of my king. Head off a chocolate bunny. This is Wild Bone for America. Thank you for watching. And America, bless God again. Man, Wild Bill. Bill. He crazy as a Wild Bill. Yep. He is. I don't like Wild Bill. You love him. I would eat him in his trachea. His trachea? Um. Let's check out what's going on with the news. Here we go. He called me, sir. It got me so human angry. He's dumbass! People are discriminating against wolves. Wow. They're laughing at us, at our stupidity. And you better well learn to love it! Pimmonk, you disappeared. I'm here. Um... <laughs> I was just in my ball sack. Oh, damn. Uh, so, did you hear about the Trump Bible? Mm -hmm. You didn't hear about that? Not sure. All right, now there's this, which is really the one that everyone at this table is talking about this morning. <laughs> Former president turned Bible salesman? All Americans need a Bible in their home, and I have many. It's my favorite book. I'm proud to <laughs> endorse and encourage you to get this Bible. We must so make America pray again. Make America pray again. It's a $60 Bible. It also has uh, the Constitution in it, too, I think. Because you didn't, I, I bet you didn't know that's also part of the Bible. It is. <laughs> make America pray again. After launching sneaker and cologne lines last month, the former president. Okay, so he's selling. This is get this. The God bless the USA Bible. That's in partnership with country singer. Sneaker, his sneakers uh, sold out instantly. God bless the USA Bible. Greenwood. He takes the stage to Greenwood's music. It's only fifty nine ninety nine, and just for that, you get a copy of the Constitution, a copy of the Bill of Rights, a copy of the Pledge of Allegiance. We, we, that is the new New Testament. And the Declaration of Independence. You know, the other day I saw this old guy at this diner that I go to and he was wearing a Keep America Great hat, which is a, a slogan that Trump used for a little while. But it's like, if you're wearing that and you want to keep America great, that means you think it's great now when Biden's president. Exactly. So like they I think they realized that and abandoned that for a while. And they also did Make America Great Again again. That was another one that they went. Yeah. As well as the Bible, I guess. Just a reminder, this is the man who once said this. 2 Corinthians 3.17, that's the whole ballgame. Where the Spirit of the Lord, right? Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Jonah, can you please remind me what is 2 Corinthians? <laughs> well, like, actually, my favorite example of this, when he was asked what his favorite Bible verse was, he was like, well, first of all, there's so many. I there's, there's so many I just can't use. Like, right, just there one. so many and then he, he did His second Corinthians was there. He was never a religious guy. This funny thing, like, when he gets into politics, all of a sudden he's so religious. He knows who he's appealing to. He was to. an atheist yeah. at one point. He said in an interview that he was an atheist. On an eye for an eye. <laughs> well, I said, if you ever run for president, you're going to run for Republican because it'd be the easiest, dumbest people to follow. Him. Yeah. I just thought it was so great. Um, <laughs> look, I mean, in fairness, whether you, I, I think a lot of people who really passionately dislike Trump are praying again, too, um, given <laughs> the state of things. But, uh, no, this is this is this is the life we've chosen. Someone made a bad wish with a monkey paw a while ago, and this is the life. A bad have. wish with a monkey paw? Do people make wishes with monkey no paws? That's disgusting. Don't cut off monkeys' paws. Yeah, no. Um, it is uh, it is remarkable glimpse of the path we could have been on that if, if uh, the Electoral College had bounced uh, slightly differently in 2016, Donald Trump would have been a TV pitch man for the past decade, and he would be selling reverse reversible mortgages, uh, huh? dietary supplements. I mean, he sold like weird fake diploma mill educations. 
I was I was approached <laughs> by Trump University people. It, it was basically a pyramid scheme. Uh, like people wouldn't yeah. buy the Trump University materials and then like open a a, a a Trump University in their area and then try to sell all the stuff to other people. I was I was at a laundromat and people were trying to like get me to go to Trump University. I'm like, no thank. As soon as they're like Donald Trump is involved in it, I'm like, oh, well that totally ruins it. Like any chance you had of scamming me is gone now because I know Donald Trump is involved, so I know it's a scam. Um, it does. It is um, a reminder, however, of how fraudulent all the claims about his wealth are. These are not the actions of very wealthy people. Um, very wealthy people are living on the interest upon the interest of their municipal bonds. They do not need to go on TV and sell Bibles to uh, credulous supporters. By the way, the Bible, of course, is available in almost every translation you, you could want for free online. You can read it every day for nothing. <laughs> Ashley, do you want to wait? It is true. It is weird. But I wonder how many Bibles he sold. How many $60 Bibles? I bet you he has already sold a shitload. Yes. I, I can guarantee it in here um not particularly but i will <laughs> i guess you know to take a, a slightly more serious tone on this is this is a preview again of how trump sees the way he wants to rule the world and, and through an authoritative um uh theology yes there are so many churches that give away free bibles it's ridiculous that anyone would buy one for 60 dollars. but i guarantee you there are people that love trump so much that they would buy a book that you can get for free. Yeah. G, which is... I mean, you can get a free Bible on, on Google Play. Yeah. Yeah, but even if you want a hard copy, there are places where you can get a free hard copy of the Bible easily. Yeah, anywhere, much more. It's my favorite book. It's the best book. One way, which is... as I like the part where Lot has sex with his daughters because I want to have sex with my daughter. I'm a Christian, but, you know, the Bible <laughs> is the root... That's his favorite in part. ...in which we are going to govern this country, even though this country was founded on the separation of church and state. And so it, it is funny, and yet it's not, because it is a tell that if he wins in November... Yeah, this, we, we also need to tell the truth about that. This country was founded on that, but we've never had a separation of church. The, the church has always been involved. Always been involved. And yet they still get tax-free and all that shit. Yes. They get the tax cut and all that shit, but yet you still have your preachers getting behind pulpit pushing you know, their political beliefs. It's, it's fucked up. It is. Yeah, it shouldn't be tax-exempt. No, he could shouldn't. not just say, like, I'm selling Bibles, but I'm mandating that in our schools, everyone has a Bible. In these institutions, everyone has a Bible. And that's not what America is about. He say that. Don't put you that. Now, that is the thing that the press does a lot of times. If you really watch how they push their, their own narrative on Trump, and like and, and like he's you know, make him feel like he said this when he really didn't yeah, say yeah. that. Yeah, they they damage their own credibility when there's perfectly real things you can criticize Trump for. Exactly. You don't have to lie. There's things that are talking and you know that that right there, you know, he he did not say anything about the school. Nothing about schools in there. He didn't say nothing. But she threw that in to make it feel like he is. Yep. People from all different faiths, and that's the beauty of this patchwork cloth that we have that Donald Trump doesn't really seem to appreciate. Um, and I, st I can't remember the chain of hotels, but I stayed at this chain of hotels when I was in Europe. Uh, but I think it's like a worldwide chain because uh, it, you know how most hotels have the Bible in every room. Th these hotels had the, the Bible and the Book of Mormon, but I was I wasn't in the States. I was in uh, Austria. You know, but most most Mormons live in the U.S., but I that was really weird. Well, I mean, and Jonah, pulling together to Ashley's excellent point, the um, founding documents of the country into the, I mean, they're, <laughs> the separation of church. I guess Marriott and do state that? was a founding ideal uh, for a country that was breaking away from Britain. And those documents that the, the founders wrote reflected that to kind of put them together and then hawk it. Does I mean yeah, but it's, my you know, favorite it's... Bible verse is Peasants four twenty. Thou shalt like the stream and donate thine spare shillings. Thank lest you. Lest ye be a dipshit. There you go.
I don't think it's in the Bible. It is. Shh. But it's a great value. It is. Bundle. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, and, you know, and, and they're all public domain. All right. We're going to move on to the next thing. Oh, I, I love watching Fox News. So this is White be... House marking Transgender Day of Visibility on Easter Sunday. I love it. Yeah. They're, they're mad about this. Setting off a firestorm of criticism. This year, Trans Visibility Day I'm coincided with... I, I do think it's silly. <laughs> I think it's funny. Easter, the holiest day on the Christian calendar. Right. Whatever Christians, Christian, I think it's though. good. I think it's that. funny. Yeah, kind of an asshole move. No, it's not in my opinion. Fuck Easter. Like they don't own a day on a calendar. Like anybody can make it exactly. a, any day they want. Man, they got enough days anyway. So I, I mean, like we got to share days with other things, and I'm fine with it. I don't care about Easter. So if, if people want to make it whatever day they want to make it, uh, who cares? If you don't like it, just ignore it and say it's, no, it's this day. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. I do agree with that. It's just that that is kind of like a slap in the face. I like it. Though. I think it's good. I, I, I think it's funny. Resurrection Sunday. And while this isn't the first time President Biden and the White House have ha! watched the transgender holiday, it was their most substantive on social media. He's got those bunnies. It's the latest example of what is being described. These are trans bunnies. As faith under fire in America. Harris, many are arguing that to that point that there's been a, quote, faith under fire movement for quite some time. That hmm. Eddie is the next Easter really on 420. Is that true? Because like it was I don't think that's true, right? Because it was all it was on in March this year, why would it be like almost a whole month? I don't know if it is because that that'd be weird because they'd be like they're having Easter on Hitler's birthday, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Easter change holiday. Easter does change every year, but not that drastically, right? I don't know. Let's see. I don't think so. Easter 2025. I, no, no, it's April 17th, is it? Let's see. Yeah. 2025. Oh, no, no. You know what? It is on April 20th. It is. Man, yeah. that's such a huge change. It is. Mm -hmm. They're having Easter on. Okay. So they're mad about Trans Visibility Day. But they're gonna have Easter on Hitler's birthday. <laughs> I mean, and on Weed Weed Day, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. Maybe they should have Easter on a different day because you can't change which day Hitler was born. Crazy. Nobody, even, nobody really thinks about Hitler's birthday anymore. About they think just, about weed. Yeah. Being and flowing, sometimes more flagrant than others, but many Christian Americans feel they've been persecuted. Maybe they're happy it's on Hitler's birthday. It's been out I don't in the know. Open and sort of furthered by this administration in many ways, from Catholics being focused on in the FBI to downplaying by the media of certain um, events that have happened. And they can't have feeling this is one more nail in the coffin and a large visible one. So if a holy day on the Islam calendar had fallen on March 31st, as did the holiest day on the <sighs> Christian calendar, Easter, would they still have had Transgender Visibility Day or would they have observed the day before or the day after? We often will do an observe day before or after the day that it actually falls on. In fact, we do that quite often with veterans. Yeah, we do need to combine easter with 420 and maybe that'll save easter for people like me that don't give a shit like i don't really give a shit about 420 either but if if we did this weird hybrid holiday of like 420 easter what was the last time easter fell on 420 you can think about it think about all the means of jesus and marijuana that day next year oh yeah. my god Wednesday. It doesn't so always mean. fall on a Friday, but, and we do it with other days. So I'm just wondering, is Christianity getting, and for that matter, I mean, there are protests in the streets. That Look at Joe Biden's face. 
I heard they had <laughs> chocolate chip ice cream. Did you ever see the press conference he did? Or it wasn't a press conference, but it was like there was that shooting. I think it was in Tennessee or something. It was like a school shooting, and they're like, "Oh, we're going to Biden. He's he's going to talk about this." But he he's like, "I heard he had chocolate chip ice cream here." <laughs> Did you see that? Yes. Yeah. That are anti-Israel. The man wants my cream. <laughs> and so is the. He's not moving. Judaism. He's not moving at all. Also getting the same treatment. He's not even blinking, dude. Do you notice how different his face looks now? If you look at a picture of Joe Biden from like, I don't even like eight nine years ago, he looks like a totally different person. Treatment as some of these other like he had Botox or something. Religions that the president is being pressed upon by. Look, that Michigan vote mattered. I don't care what he and his people say. And yeah, some of it was about electric vehicles. But that angry Arab Muslim community over his treatment of the Israel Hamas war is real. And he should wake up to that. And why does that matter? Because I don't think we are all being treated the same. I think he's flexing in one direction, trying to get that vote. And you know what? Who cares so much about Easter? He looks like he's having trouble standing. We'll put up this flag. The he's like in a weird pose, like a weird like front foot, back foot kind of stance. Easter Bunny is not the symbol of Jesus. Mm. Yes, it is. How dare you say that, Fox News, with your Fox News propaganda? The Easter Bunny is a symbol of Jesus. All right? Learn what's true. Um, but I, I thought this, as we were talking about this, the children of the National Guard were prohibited from submitting religious Easter egg designs for the 2024 Celebrating National Guard Family art event at the White House this year. This is the New York Post reporting this. So what is that about, that the symbolism of of the holiday, particularly, as you pointed out... What, you mean a reanimated corpse of a guy that was brutally executed? Yeah, that would be awesome. Make sure you draw the wounds of the stigmata when you draw Jesus. Right, Pimp Monk? That's sure. Yeah. I mean, for military families. Hey Zeus, my friend. There, were, there was just a, a whole lot of mess going on, and it would be nice to be led by people in the White House. Yeah, uh, Chris Chan's name is now Jesus Christine Sonichu Prime. Damn. Yeah, Jesus Christine Sonichu Prime. Who could kind of clean that up today, on Easter Monday, oh, maybe man. make some sense of that. And it didn't serve the transgender community either to be caught up in the storm of their indecision. Right. And, yeah. and Morgan, so even if that rule has How been in they place do for this? some time. They're just wrong across the board. This is tragic. When you. How could they treat Christians this way? Content. They're a minority. No, they're a majority. <laughs> when it's up against the landscape of Biden saying, declaring this day is Transgender Day of Visibility. <laughs> we're not changing it for observation. That was such a great point about that. How do you speak to the pragmatic way that this administration could have handled this differently? Well, and I think Harris makes a really good point about where we are in terms of religious observance right now. In the Fox used to have all blondes, and then all the guys that were in charge there got in trouble. And now they're just like, it's we'll like, your color there. yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. If this woman here, I don't even know who she is, but if she would have worked at Fox News 10 years ago, she'd have bleach blonde hair. They, they st they're still not allowed to wear pants. If you notice, a woman on Fox News is never wearing, like, pants. And I support that rule. Always I mean, a dress. This country, it's women actually a pivotal moment for hey, all of the... Hey, you the should take off the damn dresses. Huh? Face. It's the holy month of Ramadan, right? There, there used to be... Uh, a, a website. I don't know if Naked it still exists. The Naked News. Yep. Yeah, I remember that. I think it was based out of somewhere in Europe. I think it was it, like... Was it Norway? Norway? It was probably like Germany or something or Netherlands or something. Probably Germany. Yeah. Now, yes. still, 
it's Easter, we just finished Purim, and Judaism will be going into Passover soon as well. And I know people on the left watch this and think that we're all being overly sensitive about this. Let me tell you why it's not, because this is one of the fundamental founding principles of our country to have this religious freedom, to have this yeah. religious faith. And whenever you go down a slippery slope of, of ignoring it or doing as the Atlantic did and declaring the Catholic rosary to be a sign of radicalism or a sign of... They always, like, so, someone probably said that and they're like, oh, yeah, this is what they say now. It's like one person says something stupid and extreme and, yeah. th and then they paint, like, anyone that isn't like them that way. Like, we're, we're judged by, like, the most extreme fringe crazies among us. But, but that extreme fringe is growing now. It's. I mean, it grow. It's. It, it's growing on both sides of the spectrum. Oh, exactly. Both sides are fucking nuts of the extremists. Uh, I mean, like you know, honestly, like there I, were. I, I, I get nervous to call myself to a left these days. There, this, there was a crowd of, of like. There was a crowd of like hundreds of people that were waiting in Dallas for Kennedy, both Kennedys. JFK uh -huh. Jr. and his father, who would have been like over a hundred years old, to show up to like come back to life and and run for president uh, with with Trump. You know, uh -huh. like <laughs> yeah. That's some weirdos out there, buddy. Yeah. When you go down that slippery slope, where does it get you? It gets you in a place where you are with the Chinese Communist Party, where they have actually edited the Bible. The Bible that you mm. buy in China is not the Bible that you get everywhere else in the world. It has been edited by the Chinese Communist Party. Yeah. And in China, that Xi Jinping took pictures of Jesus off the wall in churches and put. Yeah, they don't like religious idols put there. A picture of himself up. And and I mean, like they've never had a history of of Christianity there. I mean, there there are Christians there, but the, it's. It's not like it's not part of their history there. So it's they're like a, a huge minority there. So why are we as Americans? I would yes, I would like to get my hands on one of those communist Chinese Bibles. And so sensitive In about 2014, this. 2014 Easter fell on April 20th and it was fantastic. Can't wait for I, round two. Yeah, I don't remember it. Obviously, uh, I, I should have remembered it. I yeah, Easter 2014. Hell yeah. That was so... I, I can tell why I didn't remember it. Because it seems like, oh, this is silly. So does that happen every 10 years? Is it every 10 years it falls on April 20th? Because that was 10 years ago. This is just the ladies on on Fox News being, you know, uh, uh, over overly dramatic. It's really not. It is a slippery slope. If we don't do everything we can to protect religious freedom around the world, and by the way, they never filled that position, to my knowledge, at the State Department. Oh, no, no, no. That wasn't 10 years ago because it's happening next year. So is it every 11 years? I don't know. I'm not going to try to make sense of it. ...that Mike Pompeo put in place to make sure that we were uh, advocating... Shut up, woman. Oh, man, yeah, she's just... So just freedom around the world. When you don't fight for it here, it's a slippery slope to end up where you are. She's basically repeating herself. Yeah, they're like, oh, you have this much time to fill. She, you know, she sat in the ma hair and makeup chair all day. She might as well get her time in. And, David, the whole point is, arguably, we are well down that slippery slope. There's no unfounded hysteria happening. In 2022, the Atlantic ran an article that deemed the Catholic or rosary the a symbol of religious slope. radicalism. Right. Again, we know that the FBI somehow sort of promoted the idea that Catholic faith was connected directly to violent extremists. After the Nashville shooting, somehow Christians were... I mean, it has been. <laughs> You know, there's there's been Catholic violent extremism. Sure. It's it's definitely happened throughout history to blame for it. It is a very, very real persecution here, in part because the slow drip, the, the benign impact of the media is actually quite horrific because that drip is what shatters rocks. So I want to take a. Uh kind of the 30,000 foot strategic view of what just played out and the only man I get it I agree that this is part of that secularist movement of the liberal progressives dude he sound dude pimp monk he so he sounds like he got punched in the throat mm. <laughs> maybe the left and Biden he might have or or he's he's going ham on the cigarettes you know that like, could be it, but dude. if you
Look at the events that began really about last Thursday. Yeah, that combination of getting punched in the throat and smoking all the cigarettes. That that makes a very famous voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember the one time you're like, I got hit in the head with a two by four with a nail through it. <laughs> that happened too. Yeah, I love that. I guess the score right there. Jeez. Damn. Where we are today, the proclamation of Transgender Day of Visibility, the celebration of Cesar Chavez Day, which was proclaimed in 2013 in a similar fashion. What you're seeing is a master class. It's not like it's a federal holiday or something like that, though. Class in gaslighting for the response. Think about it by the numbers. There are about 1.6 million Americans who self-identify as trans. However, 67% of 30 million people identify as Christian in America. And if you take from that the number of people who celebrate Easter, shall we say, more, more openly, it's about 37%. That's 122 million. So it sounds like you're a majority and you're not a victim and you're actually in control. So stop crying about being persecuted. <laughs> like, you're fine. So who are they playing to? They're actually playing this for their base, for the reaction. And I think we I thought it was a minority that uh, like you need to put context together. It's true that they've had this attack. These are the same people that go after kids saying, you can't oh, it always goes there. It always goes there. No, you're a PDF file. No, you're a PDF file. No, you are. No, you No, you. Yeah put a religious symbol on an Easter egg in an art contest, but yet they will glorify that the virgin. Me off, bro. Oh no, that rabbit is amazing. What are you talking Mary about? Mary being dipped in urine. It's oh. not about art. It is about their attack to secularize, <laughs> to demonize, to again, take us apart as Americans and have us at each other's throats. And I think when we do that, we take away their power to overly influence people. It's privilege plus power, and we're trying to take it away from them, okay? And I think that's the context that helps us do that. Well, I'm, obviously I agree with all of this, but for someone who is, uh, I'm a gay woman, for the uh, part of the audience that might not know this yet, what is problematic, and we also heard Caitlyn Jenner's. She's doing a, as a, as a gay woman. Uh, response to this is that it was obscene. You get tired of being somebody's fetish. You get tired of being the pawn to be used to divide. So I agree with David in this. In this Somebody's fetish? Regard. This has nothing to do with transgenders. As a matter of fact, they're being used. They're being used to divide Americans. It's like if you walk yes. into a bar and scream something about someone. I mean, that is true to a degree, but it's, I mean, it's being used to divide Americans by Fox News here. That's why you're running a news story about it. <laughs> so yeah. it's kind of a weird self-report right there it is like a like the culture war is a distraction from things that yeah yeah mom you're <laughs> looking for a fight and they're looking for a fight they want you talking about this instead of the border right. instead of the economy instead of crime that is increasing they want you to look at other americans as the problem well none of us are the problem that's their goal and i and i would you're kind of killing fox news's narrative certainly that transgenders are probably looking at this thinking this is we don't need this this does not exactly. help us this does not help us we like easter too this is an uh, unforced error it's unnecessary uh, and, of course, it's the combination of things that have happened. It's the environment. It's what we notice has occurred. But, again, I would argue that it is a convenient dividing line when you've got Americans who are Christian versus perhaps Jews versus gays and lesbians well versus as, transgender. As well as. As well as. Enough of this. As well as. As well as Muslims. We have families. We have lives we need as to live. Well as well as my family. No matter what our skin color, how we identify. Is this woman part manatee? 
We've got to be able to look to the future, and these individuals are looking These for individuals with this situation. For a fist fight in a bar, we can't give it to them. So I think we're united in that regard, to say the least. Well, and I do think that a part of the conversation is, and I, and I think much like the transgender community got caught up in the storm, so did Muslim families. Yes. I mean, think about it. And Muslims and pagans and jerks. I, I, he's flexing so he doesn't have to pick the Christians on that day. But that doesn't help their cause either, because what happens when they're not his fetish, as yeah. you say? Yeah. I mean, that, that's even... That's a bad word to that's, use. That's a weird word to yeah. say. Yeah. Hard to say. It's, it, it feels so wrong, because it is. We shouldn't be anybody's fetish. Not black people, not Hispanic people. Oh, we should God. just be Americans. That's what do you right. know? We should just be Americans. Someone wrote that, right? That was written. What a concept. <laughs> Harris Faulkner. <laughs> All right, guys. Up next. Hey, everyone. I Oh my goodness! Um, Can't do her though. Yeah, I mean, Fox News has always kind of picked more attractive women to work there. It just they used to all be blondes because the guy run the guys running the show there were into blondes, and after they left, they still kept up with that. They just diversify a little more. Made them brunettes. If you notice, there was no blondes on that panel right there. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, they used to, like, they hired, like, Gretchen Carlson, who was, uh, I think, Miss America at one point. Mm -hmm. They hired uh, uh, Megyn Kelly. There was a whole bunch of them. Uh, here's that thing about the uh, the bridge that collapsed. Did you see that? In Baltimore, there was, like, a huge bridge that collapsed. Oh, yeah. 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 Welcome back. Crews continue the complicated and meticulous process of removing steel and concrete from the fallen Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. Dive teams were in the river over the weekend surveying. That'd be a nightmare to be driving across a bridge and have it collapse. That is just ridiculous. Unacceptable. Something you'd expect in like the third world to happen. It's really sad. Of the bridge underwater and checking on the ship to ensure it can be safely floated away once the wreckage is lifted. Workers in lifts used torches earlier to cut parts of the twisted steel superstructure above the water. The Army Corps of Engineers says this is the most important project they're currently working on, not only for Maryland residents, but for the country. I love local news, it's so much more clunky. Old. Skylar Henry has more on the cleanup and rebuild. Coast Guard teams dropped buoys in the Patapsco River as part of a new alternate ship channel for some smaller boats. We'll have a controlling... Yeah, because the bridge is blocking ships, too. Depth of mm -hmm. 11 feet. Now, we're also moving forward on creating a southwest channel for deeper draft vessels that will ha allow for a deeper draw. Welders are cutting away pieces of the collapsed bridge in an effort to clear out debris and fully reopen the channel for all ships. Crews also need to remove debris to reach the bodies of four construction workers who are Jesus Christ. presumed dead. Maryland State Police believe they have found missing vehicles underwater. Below the waterline, along the bottom, is very challenging because these girders are essentially tangled together. Essentially? They're intertwined. The White House announced Monday President Biden will visit Baltimore Friday to see the wreckage and meet with state and local leaders. President Biden and his team are working with Governor Moore, the congressional delegation, Mayor Scott, and numerous state and local of officials to reopen the port, rebuild the bridge, and support the people of Baltimore. State officials say they expect help from the federal government to rebuild the bridge. We're going to have continued conversation with the state of Maryland uh, to get a sense of of how much uh, this is going to cost and we have said uh, we're going to uh, certainly continue to talk to Congress uh, to get some assistance here. The Port of Baltimore is one of the busiest in the nation and as long as it there's like a huge port like that in Seattle with those giant cranes they like load yeah. they load the big containers on and off of the the ships that come in and then they put those on trains Remains closed. The impact will be felt across the country. Yeah, Baltimore is actually the busiest port in the country for importing and exporting vehicles, mm. including farm equipment. Interesting. Georgia is expected to see much of that cargo come through its port.
Hmm. So they're switching. A stretch of the iconic Highway 1 on the Big Sur coast is now closed. Part of the highway Look at this. fell into the ocean after a slip up. This we photo have, from Caltrans shows you what that looks like. We have crumbling infrastructure all over the country. Look at that. That's that's death right there. Going over yes, this edge yeah. here. Like you can see part of the southbound lane is well, it's missing. Crews did assessments to see if the north well, it's missing. Southbound lane you is think? safe so far. It is. They did start doing escorted convoys through that area after tourists were trapped overnight because of the closure. Many were forced to sleep in their cars. Caltrans says a two what a nightmare. Convoys were able to get through yesterday afternoon. Meanwhile, more closures have been announced in the wake of the Highway 1 slip out, including all state parks in the Big Sur area. They're listed right Sometimes landslides happen out here, which is just crazy. Yeah. And you'll be driving on the freeway up in the mountains around here, and there's like a big thing that'll just say like landslide area. We're just at any moment yeah. the land could just start sliding all over you. I don't like that. Yeah, when you uh, take a Greyhound and go up there, they'll tell you on the bus, uh, when you get on the bus to go through Washington and stuff, they'll tell you, um, warn you about the, the landslides. Yeah, yeah, they do happen down. sometimes. I'll see it on the news that a landslide happened. Mm -hmm. They're on your screen. No word yet on when the parks will reopen. All camping reservations will be canceled and refunds will be issued. Damn. Um, dude, this is crazy. Some crazy person rammed the gate at an FBI office in Atlanta. Mm. Hearing a little bit more in the way of questioning. And I'm, I'm wondering if it's a MAGA head. I don't know. Answer, so we'll make sure to bring that to you a little bit later. But at least they had their windshield wipers. I do actually on. want to take you back out to this breaking news right now. What makes you think you can ram a barricade in a car like that? <laughs> Coming in out of Shambly, Georgia, that is where a man has been arrested at the Federal Bureau of Investigation office in Shambly after investigators do say that person rammed a car into their security gate just after noon today. The FBI telling Fox News the man attempted to follow an authorized vehicle through the gate but was stopped and two other agents who were leaving at the time got out of their vehicle and detained him. A news conference here is getting underway. We believe it is going to be very brief, but I do want to play it for you here, raw and unfiltered. Hey, good afternoon. Yep, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Interesting, like, to be a fed, you know? You gonna tell us what happened, buddy? Do you see that G Time Johnny got arrested? He was live streaming and he got arrested. Uh, and the, all these cops really? with like tasers came and like arrested him. It's it was crazy. Not that I feel sorry what for him. What was he arrested for? I have no idea. Because he's a sicko? Because he kicked a dog? I don't know. Yeah, I probably did. I don't know. Uh, why not? It's just still. Uh, okay. It's okay. I'll be here. Right, everybody ready? All right. Good, af good afternoon. We can confirm a person rammed into the FBI Atlanta's front gate shortly after noon today. He was not associated with this facility. Several of our special agents who were passing by apprehended him. His motives at this point are not known. The suspect was taken to a local area hospital where he's being evaluated. This time we are looking at both state and federal charges. There are no injuries. Agents of bomb techs are checking the vehicle as a precaution, as part of our, special, or our standard operating procedures. We don't have any further information at this time as it is an ongoing investigation. Thank you. Can we ask it? Yes. Yeah, so earlier we heard that he was actually... I hate press conferences where, like, there's questions and you can't hear them, really. I know. It happens all the time. I'm, I'm checking to see if G-Time posted a new video since he got arrested. Let's see. No. <laughs> no, the last video G Time Johnny posted is him getting arrested. Uh, and he posted it or survived? 
Um, I'm sorry. What was the question? I was I was reading something. It was live. Or- yes, it was. He did oh. a live stream. I think he saw the cops coming and started a live stream. And then uh, you could see, you could hear like the taser, like the tick, 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 you know, that it tasers make. And then you can hear them like, get down. And then he's like, get off me. And, and all this. Um, somebody left a, uh, somebody left a comment because the stream was from three weeks ago. There was a comment eight days ago that said, John is a very sick man. He's in a behavioral facility placed there by law enforcement. We pray he accepts help and continues the practice after he is released, which is could just be a troll comment because there's no proof. It's just like a random person. Like, why would someone at a mental health facility leave this on a yes. on a YouTube video? But. Yeah, crazy. Shit, I'm shouting. We'll do it live. The jail time, Johnny. Jail time. Um, all right. I got like one more thing to watch before we'll probably wrap up the show. Uh, I'm just getting it really quick here. All right, motherfucker. So, so when's the King Beard comedy tour coming out to Seattle? Oh no. Need to. There's definitely venues here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're 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 actually gonna hop into the code reverse one last time. <laughs> Somewhere in the world today, men have got to stand up strong, face the truth about themselves, to understand what went wrong. I know we can find a way, I know we can find a way, I know we can find a way, stand up, it's amazing. I love it. Check this out. All right, here's some food. This is a food hack. Looks like a hot dog. Sent me some of this smoked sausage or troll, whoever. Or troll, a fan or troll, whoever. It's made with pork and chicken. Okay. Uh, Fry it up a section of it. Until it's got that nice texture on the outside. Then I took this hot dog bun and I filled it with Sargento pepper jack habanero. Oh, he's saying it re- correctly now. He used to call Sargento cheese Serengeto cheese. Serengeto. Yeah. Carol, I grew up cheese. in the Serengeto. And then when I was cooking up that hot dog with that sausage link in it. Hot dog. I was added some uh, hold on. Some. Check the uh, toothpicks out here. No, but I cooked the uh, sausage and some like bacon up grease. Yeah, he. You know what he and does when he butt. cooks things? He uses like. Pre-packaged bacon grease, but he'll mix it with country crock, and it's like, no, mm. you don't need both of those. Uh, he's going down. And I gotta cook to the right texture and look. First of all, a hot dog does not need cheese on it. I put it in the hot dog buns with the uh, 
Sargento pepper jack habanero, jalapeno cheese. Then I dabbled. I use cheese on it though. I mean, there there's worse things you could put on it, but you know what? There uh, in Seattle they put cream cheese on a hot dog. They butter the inside of the bun with cream cheese and then put the hot hot dog in there and then they usually put like grilled onions on top of that and that's that's the Seattle dog originally they used to use a a bagel bun like a sesame bagel bun but they stopped doing that with some flavor town action and uh, put ranch from hidden valley on top with a couple squirts for that horseradish. And I microwaved it. All the cheese and the sauce was oozing out the side. Took a fork. And scooped it back on there. Not sure how it's gonna taste, but we'll have to find out. That's actually not no, it was worse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There, uh, he made a burger with like, like pickled pigs' brains one time. Yeah, I remember it. He's dripping. It's funny when he'll like spill things, he'll just use his shirt to clean it up. <laughs> Wipe that up. That YouTube is delicious. I didn't toast the buns this time, but who cares? A, a lot of times when he toasts. I care. A lot of times when he toasts things, he just burns them. That would taste better with toasted hot dog bun, but unless you have a hot dog bun toaster, they're tricky to toast. Hmm. Words of wisdom. But cooking this uh, sausage in uh, bacon grease and some uh, butter. Butter. That's not butter, dude. And then uh, putting it on a hot dog bun with... Uh, that is not butter. And that cheese and melting it with the sauce is pretty good. With the sauce. Mm. You can see his uh, scary ventriloquist dummy in the back of the room there. This is an interesting <laughs> angle. I didn't make this hot dog. That is tasty. I wish he would know that you don't have to use the the country crock if you're already using bacon grease. I mean, like, you don't need it anyway to cook a hot dog, but... He does that with bacon. It's like, bacon creates its own oil to cook it in. Like, the moment you heat it up, it starts leaking oil. The ranch with the horseradish. I'm here for that. <laughs> I'm here for that. Pretty straightforward. Wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. I just kind of threw it together. Uh, that's one of your better ones. Maybe you should think about it less. I wonder how burnt the hot dog is, though. I don't know. I hate how he... He'll, like, cook something in the oven and then add things to it and then put it in the oven again for, like, an hour and then add more shit to it and put it back in the oven. And then by the time he's done, the original thing he put in the oven is just ridiculously wrecked. You know? Yeah. Yeah. He's ridiculous. 
Oh my god. All right. Sometimes I'll use beef tallow. I, I remember I, I got like some duck tallow one time that was amazing that I was cooking everything in. It was ridiculous. Uh, so we are about to wrap this up. I would like to invite everyone to the post show for all of our patrons ten dollars and above you'll get to hang out i'm gonna go for like 30 to 60 minutes over there depending on how things go there's a link right now where you can go and and sign up i'm gonna go live over there as soon as this ends i'm gonna go live over there so awesome. yeah so check out uh king beard on whatever social media you use he's on all of those all of it all of them so check them out on Instagram or TikTok or Facebook or wherever. Any of those. Greatest content creator in history. Yep. And uh, we'll see all you guys back again next time. Have a wonderful night, everybody. See you then. Bye. In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. From the strangest corners of the internet. Gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben. You know where you can find them at. Get ready cause they're gonna kick your... Drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants.